Okay, look at me! Being on time and everything! It's- it's been such a weird fucking week! Hey, Esme. Uh, out of all the damn earworms you could have, you're afflicted with I Want It That Way by the Backstreet Boys? Oof. I, uh, I was watching a friend's stream yesterday, and there was, like, a silly little 8-bit version of that song going on in the background, so I did also briefly have that stuck in my head yesterday. And, of course, now we'll have it stuck in my head again for whoever knows how long. But, yeah. Um, there is a thing on my lip. It's a, it's a, it's a wound. It's there. I'm acknowledging it. Uh, my hair is on the other side, and it's fucking weird. Because <laughs> um, I flipped it. Uh, the other way, so, so that the tattoo wouldn't have hair all over it, um, and also so you could see the tattoo, uh, which would have been, uh, covered, uh, earlier in the week, but I peeled the, uh, the, the quote-unquote second skin, which in this case was not Saniderm, off, um, and it didn't go great, and I'm probably gonna need some touch-ups, because it definitely pulled some scabs off that I don't think it was supposed to, uh, so that sucked a little. Um, and yeah, I'm not used to having my hair on this side of my head and it's really weird and I don't, I don't know how I feel about it. So I might end up putting it up, but we'll see. <laughs> uh, but yeah, please enjoy tattoo. Uh, Esme, I will now check my posture now that I've shown it off. It is officially WoW's 19th anniversary today, so that's fun. Um, can you fucking believe that World of Warcraft has been around for 19 years? Well, it's not as impressive as 20, which will be next year, but like, wild. <laughs> And here's the real thing. Um, here, how many feats of strength do I have? Uh oh. Uh, so I have. I've missed. I've definitely missed some anniversaries. I missed the seventeenth anniversary. So I have. Uh, I, I just want to figure out which which anniversary is is the first one I have. Oh god, that's so fucking wild. Have I seriously? Yeah, I guess I have. I the so so I have just gotten the WoW's 19th anniversary feat of strength and the first anniversary feat of strength that I have is from WoW's 6th anniversary. <laughs> that is how fucking long I have been playing this game. <laughs> That's nuts. Uh, Jester, I can believe you've been around for almost 34 years because I've been around for a little over 31 years. So, uh, <laughs> and Esme's at 47. So yeah, we got, we got all, we got the whole range, uh, a, a whole range in here. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm trying to, to justify, uh, wanting an, uh, so I, I have the, the red dress that I showed you guys, uh, the, the, the Sith-ish cosplay that I did for Comic-Con. Um, and I, I'm wanting to get, a, I, I'm wanting to make another Star Wars, uh, costume for next year that doesn't immediately get me labeled as Sith because I want to have a character that has never met Jedi nor Sith. <laughs> And it's just kind of figuring it out on their own and they're just a person, right? So I don't want their clothing to just immediately align them one way or the other. Um, uh, but but apparently black also counts as Sith immediately and I'm mad about it. So, yeah. But anyway, 6th anniversary, 7th anniversary, 8th anniversary, 9th anniversary, 10th anniversary, 11th, 12th, 13th, 14th, 15th. 16th, 18th, 19th. The, the 17th anniversary is the only one I've missed since I started playing. That's wild. That's so weird. That's so weird to think about. But all right. Interesting. Uh, I'm pretty sure that uh, the 16th anniversary, I, I might have been around for that one. I don't remember when Shadowlands launched, like what time of year. Um, but I, I feel like I have a vague memory of getting it on like an under level 20 alt that I signed in on. <laughs> Like, just to get the achievement because it felt weird to break the streak, but then I broke the streak the, the 17th year anyway, so. Uh, Black is ungendered goth fight you. I will not fight you, but you can fight my boyfriend about it. <laughs> but yeah, Black, Black is neutral. Like, if you, have, if you have a hood, like, all the way over your face and your face is in shadow, then Black is maybe Sith. But come on! <laughs> you can be a good person and like Black... Even in even in the extremely color coded world of Star Wars, okay. <laughs> it's 
So I'm with you on that, Esme. I'm with you. Um, I don't know why. I've, I've been sneezing all morning, and I really hope it's not because the fucking plumber was in here coughing yesterday. I'm going to be mad if he got me sick. Like, real mad. Like, big mad. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. Uh, Satisfactory Update 8 came out this week. Um on Tuesday, and Coral Island officially released on Tuesday, and Lake has a Christmas update, which I'm going to wait until December to play on stream. Um, yeah, there's there's just been a lot of stuff that I want to play this week, and um, instead I'm going to play World of Warcraft, which I did all day yesterday also. <laughs> um, but I got to raid yesterday, um, like, a, like an actual progression raid for the first time, uh, since Battle for Azeroth, so that was really nice, even though it's still a little bit weird to do it with a community group instead of a guild, um, but, uh, unfortunately, unfortunately, I, uh, I can't join them again on Sunday, which is a bummer, but it's the Grey Cup on Sunday, and my parents have invited me to come out and watch the Grey Cup, and so... I haven't seen them in several months, uh, at least for more than a couple minutes, so I should probably be a good child and, and just go do that. <laughs> so that's the reason I'm not joining you for Raid on Sunday, Banquas. I was planning on it until literally halfway through Raid last night, and my dad m messaged me and was like, hey, you want to come out on Sunday? And I'm like, Ugh. But we're also going to get my winter tires put on, and it's it's worth it. So, But I want to go beat the shit out of Farak um, and have a chance at the really cool chest plate that drops from him. So next week, I guess. Although, actually, next week I also won't be able to do Sunday because it's a lightsaber Sunday. Um, and d I'm not trying to ignore you, Esme. I'm just on a bit of a tangent. But a fuchsia-colored lightsaber is A+. Plus. I support it. Uh <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what color I'm gonna like mostly stick with when I get my new one. Um, my my current one, uh, the the charge in the battery doesn't last, so it only gets to light up for a very short period of time, which is super fucking annoying. Um, but it is teal, which I really like. So you know, not Sith. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I was, I just leaned into it because everyone was like, oh my god, you're wearing red and you have a hood, you're Sith. Uh, so whatever, I just leaned into it at Comic-Con, but like, that's not, it's not really what I was aiming for, you know? So, yeah. Oh, what did I miss? Oh, apparently I missed the Twisted Dreaming Essence from last night. Okay, cool. Um, all right, we got the anniversary gift. Cool. Um, Banquos is cool. We're gonna, probably going to do it multiple times for gear. That's fair, and, and that's good. Um, yeah, I don't know how, how often you guys move, or how quickly you guys move on to Heroic. Um, I, <laughs> I was surprised when I walked in last night and it was set to Heroic, because I picked up the, like, get the, the skip to the later bosses quest, uh, and I realized it was Heroic right away, but the only other time I've raided with you guys was when you guys had the last one on farm, um, and, and so I was like, oh, yeah, okay, may maybe, sure, Heroic, <laughs> and then we go to the first boss of the raid leader's like, oh, oh, fuck, this is Heroic, so, no, no, starting at normal is better, um, but I mean, ultimately, I like to end up in heroic anyway. So if we if we get there, yeah. If you didn't realize it was until you looked at the dungeon dungeon journal. I noticed right away, I, and I I don't know why, but I I didn't feel like I should or I didn't feel the need to say anything because I wasn't sure if it was intentional or not, and I just assumed that it was. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's 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 all good. But but yeah, I will at the very least be able to continue joining on Wednesdays. Um, so yeah. And, and yeah, like, in theory, I should be able to do every second Sunday. It's just, eh, yeah. Oh, and that's, that's the thing, is next weekend, it isn't even that I'm doing lightsabers. It's a Christmas party that I have to go to next weekend on Sunday. So, yeah. The, the, yeah. It's also the holiday season, and weekends are a little bit, yeah. So, hopefully, hopefully I can keep coming more, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Um and Esme, you don't expect me to check the chat all the time, just often enough to be engaged with your watchers. I mean, fair. I just do try to read out people's comments relatively soon after they post them. So, yeah. But it also depends on, like, how far down a fucking train of thought I am. Uh, and whether or not uh, it, it requires switching the topic. And yes, Nelgar, hey, how's it going? And new tattoo indeed. Um, yeah. Yeah. I, I still don't, I still haven't settled on a name for him. I feel like I need something that's, like, a little more cosmic or, like, 
uh, cosmic works, but that's not necessarily the word I'm thinking of, um, or reaching for rather, uh, celestial. I think that's the word I'm looking for. Um, at the moment I'm thinking persimmon, uh, which would be then shortened to Percy. And I like that, but it, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if that's the vibe I'm going for or not. I like it, but I don't know if it's the vibe I'm going for. But for the last few days, I've been rolling Percy around a lot. Um, but yeah. <laughs> Nalgar, Nalgar sometimes shows up. Like, I, I mean, to be fair, I've been streaming for 10 minutes. We'll give Nalgar a break for missing the first mention of the tattoo. <laughs> Yeah, I feel super fucking weird having this side of my head exposed. It's weird. And I know you were joking. I, th again, my loves, it's not that I don't understand that you're joking. I just cannot ever respond to a joke that, like, without without just giving you the serious answer. I, I hate it, but I do it, and I can't stop. So I'm sorry. <laughs> Uh, Nelgar, you've been trying to finish the campaign before Raid, which starts in 20 minutes. I respect that, because I didn't. I didn't finish the campaign before Raid last night, and so therefore I did not progress the, the Raid quest part of it, which sucks a little bit. A little bit. I- we- we could do LFR today, just, like, to- to get a Farak kill, and because I- I often like the appearances, like, the color combos in LFR, um... But we'll see. We'll see how it goes. I don't. I don't know what everyone's up to. I wouldn't hate doing some mythics either, um, but I am very behind uh, on on story stuff. I meant to turn it the other way so you guys could see the grumpy kitty on my cup. Um, so yeah, I don't know what we're gonna do today. I was catching up on some quests yesterday. Oh, Farak isn't on LFR yet. Oh, okay. Well, we guess we're not gonna get a Farak kill even if we do do LFR today. Um, but I only got one piece of gear yesterday and it was a side grade. So, <laughs> I mean, even, even LFR gear would be uh, a good step for, for gearing at this point. So we'll see. Um, and Esme, I am drinking extremely watered down tea because, uh, this is the third time I have filled the cup with the same tea bag because I don't know. I feel like I'm wasting it if I throw it out and use another one. So yep, it's tea. <laughs> It's tea, which is like 80% sugary milk. <laughs> so, yeah. Well, I mean, whatever. That's what it comes down to. Mostly water, actually. But, yeah. Anyway. Um, okay. Uh, right. There is the whole Caverns of Time anniversary thing. Oh, little frost wing. That sounds cute. Yeah, he's a little Deathwing, but he's, but he's blue. That's cute. That's cute. I like him. Uh, Esme, you have succeeded in cutting sugar out of your diet. Good work, I guess. I, I could not. But also, sugar isn't really my, uh, vice. Uh, my vice is fucking potato chips. <laughs> so, yeah, it's, it's, it's bad sometimes. But yeah. Uh, still very much getting used to having my hair on this side, and I don't know if this is going to be a permanent change or not, or if it's just going to be while the tattoo is healing, but it does feel like a shame to have that covered all the time, um, and, like, the, the tattoo on this side starts here, so even if I have my hair down on this side, like, it's not, it's not completely covering it, right? <laughs> so, I don't know, I feel like it would be the better thing to do to, to have it on this side, but I'm not used to it yet, and therefore I hate it. Um, so, <laughs> it'll, like, change. Um, so, yeah, anyway. Anyway. Peanut uh, and ice cream have been vices. That's fair. Like, I, to be fair, I've also been eating a bunch of Halloween candy that we didn't have enough children to, to give out to. And stuff like that. I, I, I figured you meant peanut butter, but yeah. Yeah. Peanut butter is hard, too, because most peanut butter has an insane amount of sugar in it. So, yeah, that one's rough. Um, do, 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 do. Oh, 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 itch. Oh, it's so itchy. Fuck. <laughs> this is the problem. It's just very gentle taps. Anyway. Okay. <laughs> So yeah, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing in game today. I really don't. Um, but it's 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 fun. It's 
fun. I also did the Mega Dungeon yesterday because I'm still hoping for a chance at the um, uh, the the dragon skins, the infinite skins, and I'm assuming that those drop in heroic. And if they don't, I'll be upset. Uh, Nalgar, you're choosing the barrier fragment quest because you're a druid. I mean, that's fair. Uh, I figured out last night that you can literally just fly over it. <laughs> <laughs> Which is how I got in, because I hadn't finished the quest yet. And I should finish that quest, but I also haven't finished the, the campaign from last ex uh, um, patch. Let alone all the blue dragonflight stuff from, like, literally launch. I still haven't done that. <laughs> so, um, yeah, anyway. We're, uh, we're behind the times. And yeah, Nalgar, just so you, so you get, a, get a better view. Yeah, I like. Anyway, uh, but yeah, I'm probably going to need some touch-ups on that, which I'm a little upset about because I haven't needed any touch-ups on any of my tattoos since this one, which I got when I was 17, and I I am the reason it needed touch-ups because I didn't fully understand the process for uh, proper healing, and so I kind of fucked it up, but also I was 17, so. The Blue Dragonflight questline is so good. Yeah, I like, I was enjoying it. It's just that there are a lot of steps, and I kept getting distracted, and also I hate Caligos, uh, even though... Like, he's a big part of it, but it's not about him. <laughs> so, it, it, whatever. It's fine. I'll I'll do it. But, yeah. Oh, you know what? So, I have a, I have a haircut booked for next week. Um, and uh, I, I'm supposed to get, like, a hair tattoo. But now I have to figure out which side to put it on. Because <laughs> it was obviously just going to be on this side before. And now I'm... Ah, fuck. Uh, yes, Jester Nostormu is also behind the time. So far behind. He's in alternate timeline. I don't know the alternate timeline don't they didn't they kind of try to do the whole loki thing and just like compress everything into a single two true timeline or is it just that they all exist it's just that only one of them is real uh dawn of the infinite also death of the infinite i mean yeah as when you're letting your hair grow forever no haircuts well you gotta at least cut the broken ends off sometimes like literally just this much uh otherwise it does i mean i don't know i i don't think it like actually like stunts growth it's just that it like it increases breakage, right? So I still trim no matter what. But also, usually, like, once a year or so, I'll, like, hack off six to eight inches of hair just because it's getting long and, like, getting caught in my zippers and stuff, and it drives me nuts. Um, you brush your hair daily. I mean, that's fair. I've also gone, like, six months and still had nice ends. So if you're taking care of it, you're fine. I just also... It gets real fucking dry in winter up here, so <laughs> it's pretty bad. Um... But yeah. I don't know. What do we want to do? What do we want to do? Do we want to do um, the dark side of the forest hair? Yeah, sure. Sure, Jester. Um, okay. Alex is like leaning a little bit because Lily keeps fucking knocking Christopher down. Um... By the way, his name is Christopher, but with a K and and like a and a Y, so it's like Crystal, but with a K. Um, but anyway, yeah, he's also got Lily fur all over him because Lily is the worst. Um, <laughs> but they're buddies; they chill. Um, Christopher is lurking. Uh, but yes, anyway, <laughs> I don't know what we want to do. Uh, we can absolutely just like run around doing dream. I I feel like I need to put bigger, chunkier boots back on because now it looks weird. But also, the boots that I chose look good from the front and not really the back, so I don't know. Um, but yeah, we're up at 445. Lily is in a box on the table, and I did go pet her, and she was purring and being cute. Um, so hopefully, that means she'll come see me in a while. I don't know. <laughs> um, because yeah, Dawn, doing Dawn of the Infinites might be good, just like. Because, like, I, I guess it's just the second one that, uh, like, it, I, is it just Murazan's whatever uh, that that has a chance to drop the, the skins? You know what? Here. Let me just look. Uh... Oh, I didn't even know that that was a thing. Uh, okay, so that doesn't, doesn't give me anything. Uh, I forgot that, like, that these are options. 
I don't know how much I give a fuck about Gore Hell, though. Um, really, really thought... Um, Okay, so it still doesn't list it in Mythic, either. So where do you get the... the infinite... the, the scales color from? Because I just assumed that it was this. <laughs> uh, as when you were up at 2.30? Gross. Chester, I don't, are you saying 3.30 as in that was when you were up? Because I did not get up that early. Although the plumbers did wake me up at 7.30 and I was mad. Uh, it's from beating it on hard mode. But, but that doesn't make any sense. Yeah, no, Vanquos, that's the outfit. The hard mode is, is the, is the transmog. Which I also want. But, like, did, did they move the scales thing? Because I absolutely have... Uh, one of the infinite scale sets. It's just not for the dragon that I actually use, which sucks. Um, da, 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 I think I have it on the Slither Drake. Yeah, so yeah, I have the infinite scales on the Slither Drake. Um, so, so like, it can't just be that, but I did also get this when it was just mythic. So, like, but I, basically I just want the infinite scale color for for the Highland Drake instead. And, and I really, really want it. <laughs> um, so, like, I just, I don't, I don't know if they moved that or, or if it's just not on the loot table. I gotta fucking look it up, don't I? Uh. Okay, well, yeah. Okay, it does apparently drop from Chrono Lord Dios, which makes sense. But yeah, for some reason, it's just not on the loot table. Yeah, thank you think it's just not on the loot table. <laughs> uh, but yes, Benquist, I, I would like the armor set, but I'm not expecting to finish it on hard mode anytime soon. I, I guess, like, they'll announce it if they're going to take it out. Um, but I would really appreciate if they, if they just let us get it in later expansions. So I, I, it kind of implies that you can get it here. Like that it's, that it's okay. Yeah, well, if it is, you. if it is BOE, nobody's selling it. So a uh, good thing Mount Armor isn't a loot drop technically. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah, like taking up a, a drop space would be stupid. So whatever, we'll, we'll group for this. I don't know, I it's unclear on whether or not it needs to be in mythic okay someone someone did say in the comments that it can drop on heroic uh of course it's not guaranteed yeah no for sure um okay so we have a chance to get it in heroic so we might as well try it uh nulgar it was not a discord sound it was a steam sound but yes there was there was a, a notification noise my sympathy or my apologies <laughs> Um, you feel an echo of adjacent or of ancient sorrow, fear, and rage, rage as you gaze into the swirling depths of this strange fear. Maybe Marithra will know more about it. I mean, yes, but also I feel like I shouldn't give this to her until I have finished the other campaign quests because I don't want to do things out of order. Um, yeah, I don't know. It was me, Dio, but Deos, yeah. <laughs> Um, what the fuck am I doing? So, that that is the question. Do we want to do old campaign stuff? Do we want to just run around the dream while we wait for cues? I don't know. We could do challenge modes uh, of races, because I still haven't gotten anywhere near completing those. 
Um, but I also don't feel like I'm good at them, and I don't necessarily want to just, like, bash my face into those forever on stream. Because <laughs> I don't know if that's fun for you guys. Um, I'm leaning towards doing older stuff, just because, like, I, I think I did almost all of the... Yeah, I did almost all of the world quests yesterday, but I do obviously still have campaign stuff to do. And like none of the campaign stuff that I've done haven't done uh, actually makes a difference really in what's going on in the Emerald Dream. So like it's not like we have to do it, but I should. <laughs> Cause I want to finish it at some point. Also, there's so much fucking shit going on in this zone and nobody is doing anything with any of it. Why, why did they spell Siobhan with, with an H? Why did they do that? Why, why, why did they do that? Is that intentional? <laughs> uh, I don't... I haven't upgraded to Heroic, Jester. I can't do the War Within races. Um, this is going to go terribly. Oh, also, we were talking about how you'd have to take your armor off and run around to underneath Farag to get him to murder you in the open world the way Deathwing did and get the whole, um, uh, the, uh still standing in the fire achievement. And, uh, it turns out if, if he murders you in the raid, you get it too. So, sweet, I guess. <laughs> uh, that's, that's what we found out last night. So, so I can skip the part where I have to disrobe to, to get a big dragon to kill me. Um, see, like, I don't, I don't know if I'm, like, pacing myself appropriately here, uh, but, like, I also don't want to get to the point where I have, like, no momentum and I'm not earning any vigor, so I'm trying. Um, but... Things aren't looking amazing right now, but now we get to go down a little bit, so... I don't really know how fast the challenge modes expect you to be, to be completely honest. Um, Excellent work. I yeah, bronze. Not great. I mean, to be fair, we're not that far off silver, but we're pretty far off gold, so... Uh... Chester, you ruined one of the ladies' days yesterday when you showed her Malfurion isn't an entire in isn't in this entire patch. It was actually scenarios she was Malfurious with you. I mean, why? Malfurion isn't in this patch because he's fucking asleep in in Ardenweald, <laughs> and he should fucking stay there. Um, <laughs> look, I don't like Malfurion. I don't like it. I don't like him. I'm not a fan. Also, that's right. I was saving these for today where I would get a boosted amount of rep from them. Uh, I could have saved a lot more of those, but I have no patience and no bag space, so I didn't. Um, where the fuck's the, the bag of shit I just got from just doing this world quest? Where's that? Where, where's it at? Where's my dragon racing purse? <laughs> Did I not get it? I, I mean, I'm confused. I mean, I should have got it. Whatever. It doesn't matter. Uh, the fastest sleep and the Malfurious. Yeah, something like that. Too many additions though, dude. Um, okay, whatever. You know, one of these days I'll get the fucking Razgeth one too. Uh, Okay, yeah, so not all of them reward a purse anymore. That's all. That's the difference. Um, let's go turn in our story of a spectacular victory, because we haven't done that in a while. And yeah, like I said, I still have lots and lots of blue dragon stuff to do. Uh, but we'll go, we'll do this. We'll, we'll just, while we're waiting for this dungeon, we'll do some shit like that. Um, and we'll end up in the Emerald Dream at some point, so... But yeah, I don't know. I'm just being kind of aimless today. It's fine. I yeah. I require every last suffused ingot and molded metal for our bargain with Okay. Do not let these All right, 
can you shut up, Agira? Also, hey, we kill you. I killed you yesterday. You're dead Join now. Us. Anyway, we can uh, see how your skills are coming along. I don't know if I've actually done this one in a challenge mode before, but I should probably check. Um, but I'm not going to, because I could do the reverse one if I have done this one, um, and I actually think that I might have. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. I don't have all of the new dragon riding glyphs yet, um, but I do have the ones that uh, let it. Or I have enough so that I have the thing where you can get extra vigor by being close to the ground as well as having the, the, the whatever sorry buff thing. I don't fucking remember what it's called. Thrill, thrill of the skies? Is that what it is? I think so. <laughs> so whatever. You can get you can get vigor from both sources at once instead of just one. Is, is the whole thing. Uh, so I'm trying to stay nice and close to the ground even though I'm still not really getting much of anything. Um, <laughs> I don't think I'm good at challenge modes, you guys. I'm like, I'm fine at vigor management when they actually give you some, but like, yeah. And, and yeah, I thought that we were going to be able to have the thing where you get a bunch of vigor back uh, during races and that that could be a strategic thing, but they uh, probably smartly uh, especially considering challenge modes exist, uh, decided that you can't do that uh, during races, so. Welpity welp welp. Okay. Excellent work. I can see that the two of you yeah, will soon still be not good. Not good at all. Uh, <laughs> uh, Jelly doesn't know how to get into the Emerald Dream and is waiting for someone to show her. Oh no. Just so you'd do it if you were available when she was on, but no such luck. Yeah, she's not on right now, I don't think. Uh, Nalgar, I I do have the pre-order. I have the standard level War Within pre-order. Um, uh, but I, I will probably upgrade to the Heroic for the mounts and stuff at some point. Um, I just haven't decided to do that yet. Uh, also, it might be, like, on sale later probably maybe at some point I don't know does that happen before launch see I could go over there and, and try to get him to kill me again but it hasn't worked several times so I was gonna have to take off all my gear and have him kill me but now I don't need to do it because I got the achievement last night haha <laughs> uh, and yes Jester Viagra gets you out of ED haha <laughs> you were the first person to ever make that joke <laughs> Uh, Melgar says, yeah, the mount is good. I don't think that it looks good in the promo material. I think that it looks really good in-game, um, and I don't think that that is at all accurately represented, uh, in the promo material, which I think is wild. Because, <laughs> like, when I first saw it, I was like, I don't know, I don't really care. Um, and then, yeah, I saw it in-game, and I was like, oh, okay, I actually really like that, so... Yep. I think they, I think they kind of fucked up on that. <laughs> uh, it just looks kind of chunky. I think in the in the preview or in the promo material, uh, the previous expansion bundles go on sale. Uh, speak up so, now. Yeah, and and that's fair. Not, and, but like, be careful out there. the pre-order is going to be available be for available. like probably an entire year before the expansion comes out. So I don't know if that will ever go on sale before it launches or not. Um, I feel like it would be weird in a way if it did, but also that it would be good if it did. So I, and again, it's a year kind of thing. So I, I don't really know. Uh, when Midnight gets announced, then uh, TWW bonus skins and crap may go on sale. I mean, yeah, maybe. And I could see that uh, being the case. And I will not at all be surprised if it doesn't go on sale at any time before it releases. But like, I'm also not in a hurry. <laughs> I have a ton of time, right? So it is what it is and I don't really care, I guess. <laughs> uh, I'm not in a hurry to upgrade is is my literal only point. So yeah. As many of kitchen duty every damn day, you prefer not to wash dishes in any video game. Wait, what? What are we do? Where are we washing dishes in a video game? What? <laughs> what did I miss? <laughs> I kind of wish we could skip this, but it's fine. Oh my god, there are three warriors in this group. <laughs> That's too many warriors. Alright. This can't be happening. 
<laughs> Chester, you gifted Jelly a base pre-order but didn't tell her. Then found Yeah, of course she gets an email with it. What did you expect? <laughs> Which is <laughs> How was she supposed to notice otherwise? <laughs> oh. We both did that too early and now the now the shaman doesn't have it. Whoopsies. I still had Battle Shout on from yesterday. <laughs> Also, now I have a Vantis rune, and I don't know if I'm going to get a chance to fight Farak again before the end of the week, which is a bit of a bummer if I don't, um, but we'll see. There you go. Uh, but yes, it does make sense that people get emails when they are gifted something. It's not a surprise. <laughs> That happens with, as far as I'm aware, every service in which you can give something. Uh, and then you always hire a butler in The Sims because fuck dishes. Okay, that's fair. Yeah. I mean, to be fair, at least in The Sims 4, you can just drag them into the garbage can on behalf of your Sims. But yeah, that's fair. I also, I also do shit like that in The Sims a lot, so... <laughs> I respect that. Um... Never played Sims 4. I mean, you're not missing that much. Like, it's a decent game, but, like, Sims 3 is, is pretty great, so. Hey, Elaine, how's it going? Good to see you. It is nice to be streaming today. I have missed it because I wanted to be doing it earlier this week, but, you know, feral plumbers in, 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 in the crawl space. Which, by the way, is uh, from the queue yesterday. I was talking about them disappearing and not coming back and telling me what the fuck was going on. Um, and people are... I was joking that I could yell at them if the crawl space was connected. Whatever, it doesn't matter. People were joking that, I, that my house was infested with feral plumbers, and so that's where that came from. <laughs> Uh, Esme, you're still on the Sims 3 train. Yeah, I mean, that's fair. I, I was definitely both a Sims 2 and Sims 3 girly. Um, lots of good stuff there. Still don't hate um, the fourth one, but there's there are a lot of things about 3 and even 2 that are just better. So, yeah. Uh, and 4 is kind of plagued with a reasonable amount of uh, bugs that they never bother to fix, which is very on brand for EA, but, you know, it sucks. Um, so, yeah. And at some point, um, there will be a Sims 5, but I don't know how long that's gonna take. Uh, the Warriors might trade me loot? I mean, sure, but it's heroic, so... Get Darkmoon Fair shit when Darkmoon Fair isn't on. I think the feral plumbers actually are still downstairs because I think that weird noise was them. Elaine, <laughs> okay. uh, you're tired from physiotherapy. I it, please rest. Um, but yep, uh -oh. that yep. <laughs> Is that the noise? I don't know. There's a bunch of noises and I don't know how to feel about it. Um. Jester, so mad your favorite game for 20 years ago has this master collection of all games for under $40, and you remember buying each game for $35, plus 8 plus games back in 2002-2007. Yeah, the amount of uh, Sims 2 expansions that I have uh, that I can't really ever use is, is wild. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I probably could um, to some degree, but excuse me, I was barely on the threshold. Okay, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I will read fuck chat in a moment. Um someone someone in my group yesterday bailed um because they couldn't get through this, like well after the portal had already been opened by someone else. Um and I was like, bro, you didn't have to make your own life so difficult. <laughs> uh Ah fuck. Okay, um as my feral plumbers kept you away as sung by Garth Brooks, yeah. Elaine, EA, core feature of the game is bugs, make it default to hidden. Yeah, pretty much. Raz has 30 to 50 feral plumbers in her backyard. Chokes on you, I don't have a backyard, ha ha! Um, uh, but first boss got a mute. No worries, I mean, I realize I probably well missed um, the 
place where Nalgar could have heard me say that, but that's okay. I hope, I wish you luck, Nalgar. Please don't fucking hit me. I'm almost fucking there. Yeah. There we go. We're opening it. Portal open. <laughs> all, all three of the warriors? That's pretty good, though. <laughs> Uh, Meg was uh, s still low-key mad that they kept that in the Mythic Plus version. They did? Oh yeah, that's bullshit. That's bullshit. Like, honestly, I find it fun, but it is kind of punishing. Um, and it, yeah, I don't think that has any place in a Mythic Plus. <laughs> uh, I mean, I'm sure that they made the timer longer than they would have if they had taken it out, but still, that sucks. <laughs> Like, I don't know, some some days I'm reasonably good at it, others less, less so. Um. Okay, out the out um. so, Yeah, I messed with my talents a bit yesterday, so no more Ravager or Spear of Bastion that I'm never going to use. There's no way I can get us back to the past like this. Okay. Uh, as there's Netflix is cancelled, Shadow and Bone. You can't tell, uh, tell us how pissed you are. Our show was so freaking good. It was really good. That's fucking obnoxious. That's just standard Netflix bullshit at this point, though. Like, make two seasons be have to pay people residuals beyond that. Decide it's not worth it. Cancel it for tax breaks. Like, it's just, it's, the entertainment industry on the executive level is a fucking um, and it's, it's really difficult. <laughs> so, I'm very sorry to hear that, because I was also very much enjoying it. Um, and yep. yep. And I mean, the crea the showrunners ruined The Witcher by driving Henry Cavill off, and it's just, the whole fucking thing's a mess. It's a mess. Um, yeah. That's, that's, that's pretty much the whole thing, I suppose. <laughs> I didn't do anything. <laughs> what just happened? <laughs> I'm confused. I, I'm having a hard time figuring out where I'm allowed to look the point that I'm allowed to scratch to on on my back. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, but yeah, I, I can't like tell in my head exactly where the tattoo ends on the back, and I don't want to actually accidentally scratch the tattoo. So yikes. But also my back's just itchy because my hair's there, so. But yeah, it's just, it's dumb. Everything, the, like, remember when Netflix was saving us from cable instead of just being cable but worse? Like, <laughs> uh, whatever, man. Whatever, man. Like, the whole thing with Star Trek, like, I want to watch it quote-unquote properly, but no, I actually don't want... To, to pay for an entire time. other fucking service literally for one show. That's just bullshit, so. Yep! Yepity, yep, yep. I'm gonna, I'm gonna kill everything. <laughs> um, okay, apparently I'm being targeted. Um, and now it's dead, so, alright, um, where, what am, what am I even targeting right now, um, oh, I almost interrupted that, but I did not actually succeed in interrupting that, so that's a bummer, um, Okay, it'll be a miracle if Stranger Things gets finished off. I mean, honestly, I, I have stopped caring about Stranger Things, but I feel like they are uh, attached to finishing it because it was, like, what made them a front runner in terms of, like, content creation originally. Uh, and I feel like that will be ultimately the only reason it gets finished if it does get finished. But also, I just, like, where the fuck is he going? I, I stopped watching after season three because I just didn't care anymore. Um... 
where I'm at with Stranger Things. The thing was, if Netflix is getting shit in a Netflix, it doesn't help that their metrics are secret, so we never know why it's going to get Yeah, I mean, it's, it's almost definitely because the whole model is obsessed with, like, first week views, and those tend to go down over seasons, and, which makes sense. And, uh, yeah. But also, I can't remember... I know that SAG was trying to get them to include a clause uh, where the streamers were forced to release their numbers uh, in relation to paying residuals. Um, and I don't know if that actually ended up getting put in, in the contract or not. I would like if it does, um, or did rather, because then we would actually get to have that information and they can't hide behind it anymore. So that would be nice. But we'll see. Season 4 of Stranger Things was heart-wrenching. I mean, I have heard that. I just don't care. <laughs> Which isn't to say that it's bad. It's just to say that I lost interest and I don't know how to get it back. <laughs> so, yeah. Marchy, Marchy, Marchy. Or is this, I think? Or, um. We still have to clear out the anomalies before we can travel to the past. I think it's this way because that's what that's what the thing says. But but also there's no thingy here. So hey Chromie, what's up? <laughs> None of us know what's happening. Alright, well whatever. I guess it must be this one because this is the one that's active. Um I do find the design of this part of the dungeon to be fairly confusing, um, and I don't think it's great, especially if someone dies and has to figure out how to get back to you. It's not, it's not ideal. Hydrate! Alright, does tea count? Sure. I mean, I do have water here, for what it's worth, but it's not open, and I'm lazy, so, mm-hmm. Why am I roaring every time I land? I don't want to open the water! Like I said, the pee's watered down anyway. <laughs> Honestly, I just need a new water bottle that's less fucked up is the main issue. I've had this water bottle for quite some time. Um, and it opens, but not uh, in the way that it's supposed to anymore. So it's loud and squeaky. Fine! Fine! Jeez, fine! Because <laughs> it's so rude. <laughs> Yes, I'm Anis. I will. I will hydrate. And there you go, Esme. I open the water. Uh, <laughs> Marchie time, baby. Honestly, you know the. You, you want to know the thing that sucks about Morchie? Is that Morchie just makes me want to play Heroes of the Storm. It really does. Like this exact skin isn't in. Uh, Five, four, three, uh, isn't in two, one. Uh, Heroes of the Storm, but it should be. It's great, and also I really enjoyed playing Chromie in Heroes of the Storm, so. Um, I think I already had this appearance, but. Oh, that's neat. I like the way that looks. It's cool. Uh, yes. You all know. so itchy. What to do? I'm pretty sure that particular itch was all hair, but yeah. Uh, Dawn of the Infinite Dungeons are rough from a Mythic yes. Plus perspective. Oh, I mean, I was it Jester? I feel like I heard someone say that they weren't as bad as someone was expecting, but that doesn't mean that they aren't rough <laughs> uh, in a few ways. So I don't know. But yeah, the the thing that sucks about Morchi mainly is that it makes me want to play Heroes of the Storm. Um, and I don't have anyone to play Heroes of the Storm with. <laughs> Which isn't completely true. There are a few people that would play it with me, but like getting, like having, having a drink and playing Heroes of the Storm with friends was, was a, a favorite weekend thing for me for a while there. And, and, then, and then Blizzard killed it and I'm upset. I'm upset. I'm upset. Okay, apparently I'm fighting this now. Um, cool. Do, is it this one? Do we go to this one? I think it's this one, right? Is this, is, is this one? It's this one. It's this one. Okay, well, it doesn't work when you're in combat. Alright, that's fair. And now, and, and now we run through the thing. 
Yay, Nalgar, congrats on down in the first boss. Um, Bangos, the first wing requires you to skip the trash to the first boss or to the last boss. Re re requires? How so? Anyway, whatever. It uh, doesn't necessarily matter. Uh, okay, I see. I see how this works now. Uh, just, just like they killed most of their IPs. I mean, I'm assuming we're still talking Netflix here. Uh, just her. But yeah, congrats, Nalgar. Uh, I hope it continues to go well. Um, I'm assuming this is your first time in there, especially because you were talking about finishing the campaign, but yeah. Wait, where the fuck did you go? Did someone say that they were gonna leave? No, it's just the warrior saying back. Uh, oh, unless they meant as, as in, as in, <laughs> fuck. <laughs> I don't understand, where are we going? Or, oh, oh, you're talking about killing heroes of the storm. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Elaine, you think Blizzard yeah, because they at least killed all their esports. Yeah, I, I, I always considered uh, the World Championship Series final uh, at BlizzCon of StarCraft to be like, I don't know, it was it was my fucking nerd Super Bowl. I loved it, um, and and they killed it, and I'm honestly super upset about it. I I will not forgive them for that. I know that there are still tournaments in some places, but. I'm not even sure how much. Um, Jester, yeah, Overwatch, uh, StarCraft, Diablo. <laughs> Bobby, and I would have gotten away with it if it wasn't for you meddling kids in your Xbox. Yeah, it's 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 shitty. It's upsetting. I I really liked it as esports, and I mean, Heroes of the Storm. Like, I didn't care too much from an esports perspective. But, like, it's just a good game, and I I genuinely think that it's significantly better than League of Legends. I fucking hate League of Legends. Um, and and they were just like, oh, well, we didn't, we didn't get as many numbers as that, so I guess it's not worth it. We're going to kill it. Why? <laughs> it was better. Look what you've done. So, yeah. I'm, I'm bummed about it. I'm still bummed. I'm, I will be bummed forever. A Stargate? I mean, it kind of is a Stargate when I mean, you're saying it, you're putting it that way, Esme. Yeah. Morazon shall rise! Okay, so there are, uh, we, we have lost the Demon Hunter and the other warrior, which is unfortunate. Uh, <laughs> They didn't go back. They they went forward and have to run in a big fuck off loop, I guess. Um, Bango, it's basically there's just we too much trash enemies. in the first wing Above to just walk and forward, below. and you need to use invisibility to skip so all the trash at the beginning, or all the trash before the last boss, or you'll have a hundred and twenty-five percent count. That's that. fucking wild. And yeah, I guess that is a waste of time and risk of death. So, Manis uh, says, "You see those three yachts Bobby has? Those aren't free, Raz. The money has to come from somewhere." Well, it could have come from my Heroes of the Storm loot box purchases, okay? <laughs> I I do want to do it like a drunk heroes night because it's like like the game still exists and I should. You know, do it if I want to play it. Um, but yeah, I gotta gather some people and do that sometimes. Because it's a good time and I like it. It's a fun game. It's been too long. I want to do the thing. Yeah. <laughs> okay, guys. Any any fucking minute now. Where are you? My friends, with me. Hello. them together. Bueller. Where are they? <laughs> where where the hell are they? Okay, the healer said go, so I'm going. I mean, it's just trash. We might as well get towards having the boss open anyway. Like, we are both warriors. It's fine. We'll be fine. But yeah, like, I don't... Oh, oh I guess I'm eating that. <laughs> Cooldown, not my best cooldown, but you know. I guess we can split damage this way. That's not that's not completely a bad idea. Which one of you fuckheads is casting that shield? Do I can I stop it? 
Um, I think it's the little guys, and I should probably be killing those, but also this one's more dead than everything else, and at this point, it's doing the group damage, and... Ah, the absorb shield! <laughs> at this time, so it's better. Uh, okay, I, it is that, I was right, and I, I hit the wrong button uh, trying to interrupt it, but the stun didn't work, so yeah. Where the fuck are the tank and the other dude? Where are you guys? <laughs> oh god, uh, as I used to be subscribed to Loot Crate, I... I don't know necessarily which one that is. Um, cause, I mean, I, I do. I remember. I just don't remember who was in charge of, like, the OG loot crate. Um, are they fine? They're finally fucking here. They finally made it. They were literally lost in the time stream, Esme. You, like, that is literally what happened. <laughs> uh, whatever. We cleared the way to the last boss. So we can, can we, can we, like, get the role play out of the way? Can we do that? Can we do that? Hello, Chromie, buddy, L little, little friend, friend Chromie, whatever. They're coming. They're here. They, I, I literally don't know where the fuck they went. They, they have been missing for like five minutes. I, <laughs> I don't know where they went, but we're here now. Everybody made it. <laughs> I feel kind of like saying something snarky, um, but also I don't want to be a dick. So, okay, apparently there's, there's no roleplay, and if, and if there was, we missed it, and that's fine. Oh! Oh, I did beacon damage, and I, and I took okay, aggro. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> the, de the demon hunter greets everyone with a hearty hello! <laughs> Welcome back, buddy! <laughs> I, whatever, I don't know where they got lost. Uh, the other warrior saying back was very much correct, and I'm glad that I followed him and all the healer did. But yeah, that was kind of a mess. And yeah, like, I can't imagine having to deal with that, like, in, in a fucking mythic class. <laughs> Just get lost. And I mean, I, I guess the idea is that people will get good at figuring out where to go, but yeah, it's, it's rough. It's rough. <laughs> it's pretty rough. Pretty rough. <laughs> I don't want to deal with these guys. Ah, dude! <laughs> you pointed that at me. Why? Oh, apparently. Alright, and, and now him dead, and I didn't get any of the things that I wanted, so, sweet, anyway, um, bye, uh, <laughs> oh, well that was kind of a mess, but we got there in the end, it's fine, it's fine, um, yeah, I don't know, I don't know if I want to do, like, actual dungeon dungeons today. Study, practice, um, discipline. One must always strive. Why are you the exemplar of order? Some have had peaceful lives and may not see the value of order, but it does seem like we are often beset by forces of disorder and chaos and need more order in our lives. I was a child when the Lich King attacked. Seeing all that disorder made its mark on me. I have lived to see Deathwing, the Legion invasion, the Fourth War. Order means the sun rises every morning. Order means children grow up with their parents. I want to be part of that. I want to instill order on our disordered world, and that's why I exemplify that virtue in the Tears Guard. I don't really give a fuck about the Tears Guard, if I'm being completely honest. Anyway, here's your tabard and shield. Tell this, your ongoing fight for order is admirable. May this tabard and shield protect you on your final trial. Um, yep. Yeah. Cool. Uh, welcome, welcome. Come here, come here. 
I like how Nalaki has like custom voice lines. I like her. Uh, also, she's a Zandalari troll, and that's the main reason. <laughs> Why are you the exemplar of sacrifice? It is because we trolls practice troll sacrifice. She doubles over laughing. Laughing. That was a joke. You should have seen your face. I mean, I have literally the same face as you. Um, and also am a troll, so no. Uh, <laughs> sacrifice may sound strange. Maybe self-sacrifice or selflessness would be better. But you know these old organizations. Tradition is tradition. Tyr never sacrificed anything or anyone but himself. He reminds me of Rwani. She sacrificed everything for the Zandalari, and I would have traded places with her in a heartbeat. I think I'm the exemplar of sacrifice because Traverd knows I will fight until my last breath for my people and my new friends. Even Hadwin! Ha 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 ha! Okay. Hadwin oh, is, is, uh, um... I don't remember what that kind of human is, 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 is called again. <laughs> why, why am I blanking out on that? <laughs> Thank you, Esme. Uh, your selflessness is inspiring. May your shield serve you well as your selflessness serves the Tear's guard. Tear was the selfless one. He sacrificed himself for the Vrykel. I can only look up to his example. <laughs> <laughs> dark humor. Oh yeah, N Nolaki is very big on the dark humor apparently, but um Like he's a type of human, uh, an allied race, and for some fucking reason I can't remember their name right now. <laughs> I'm just having a complete blank. Why? Kira Kiltirin, thank you! Thank you, Elaine! I, d I, d I don't know why that would not come forth. <laughs> but yes, he's a Kiltirin, and the Zandalari and the Kiltirins don't like each other very much. Traditionally speaking. Make Tyr guide you. Oh, I get a fancy, except not that fancy shield. The, the big boys, yes, Banquo's that. <laughs> Our recruits should be ready for their final trials. Go to them. I'm sure you will want they will want your guidance in completing their missions. Goodbye. Oh boy! <laughs> so many quests here. While we're doing this. One pales at the thought. I don't wanna do Oh, it's just okay. I mean it's available immediately, but it is just the first wing, which I guess I should have known. Um the Titans will I know why Travard chose this area for our training. The decay here is chaotic and disordered. Things that Tyr and the Titans are not. The nearby gnolls revel in the, de the, the decay, revolting. They have taken over territory that was once occupied by the proud, noble, and civil Tuscar. Wow, this guy uh, with his talk of civility and stuff is throwing up some red flags for me. <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't know how much I like Tyr, uh, but whatever. Uh... The Tusker have asked that relics they had to abandon are returned to them. Please help me fight the gnolls and retrieve the relics so the Tuscar can continue with their rituals in Iskara. The, the gnolls have driven out the Tuscar, throwing their lives into upheaval, Razaka. I'm going to restore what order I can. Troll, orc, human. All the same, really. I mean, yeah. Uh... If you don't want it done to you, then don't do it. It's really that simple. I, okay, I, I like that these guys all have their own voice lines, but yeah. Uh, we have been out here for a good bit of time. Time enough for me to watch the gnolls he around here. Gnolls are usually a nuisance, but the decay gnolls around Brackenhide Hollow. The decay doesn't just warp their bodies, it warps their minds, too. Decay monger Rotpaw is the worst of them. She's indiscriminate in who or what she spreads her decay to. The unwilling of her people, travelers, animals, children. If there's any justice in this world, she should be taken down. Think on what is right. Or just think. <laughs> Knock some gnoll skulls together, yeah. Uh, to be fair, the vibe with the Titans has been getting more and more sus over the expansion. Like, absolutely. I yeah, uh, I, 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 you're right, Banquos. I mean, honestly, to some degree, the vibes have been getting sus ever since Argus, right? <laughs> uh, yeah. Sargeras wasn't right, but also I don't know that Sargeras was wrong. <laughs> Um, it's, it's a Thanos you. situation where it's like, you're right, but also your way of dealing with the problem is bad. <laughs> 
Uh, it makes my heart ache to see what the decay has done to some of the wildlife here. I cannot save all the creatures that live around Bla Brackenhide Hollow, but I wish for my trial to at least save some. In a cave to the west, there is a family of bears that has recently been corrupted. I believe I can fight my way there and heal them. Will you help me? I am always here. You must do something to save the creatures from the null decay. Follow me! You need your big sister's help? Just say the word. She calls she, she, she big sister. I like you. You're my friend, no laggy. Uh, much is said about how decay spreads through the air and ground, but it also spreads through the water. Slimes that live in the rivers and streams ooze pestilence. The water is toxic with it. But if we wade in and kill the big one, the poison in the water will diminish. It may poison me in the process, but I am going to kill one if it's the last thing I do. This place needs a purging. Are you with me? Life bliss. I can smell the slime, Rizaka. It is close. Oh, okay. It is. Yours is literally around the corner. Maybe. Yes. Uh. Come here, Nibbler. Y'all can all die together. Or you can just stay in the water. That's also fine. Um. actual fish so that would do it yeah <laughs> all right there it is all destroyed before it spreads more of its filth your decay will no go grow no further you nasty thing no it slimes me i can't move kill the little ones I mean, what it, is it is the sacrifice really worth it or helpful if you just die for no fucking reason Ugh, thank you for helping me, Rizaka, but let's not tell the others about me getting slimed. I'll never hear the end of it. I mean, okay. I like you, buddy, so So you'll 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 get away with it. Um Okay. Oh, now I'm still up here. Okay! Um uh, and I I am apparently in a hut all of a sudden. Alright. <laughs> Okay, I'm, I'm just picking up relics. Um, me rot now? Um, but... Am I, um, am I not supposed to find what's-his-face? Where is he? I mean, two of them don't have the optional speak to them fit, so maybe not. I don't know, whatever. I'm just doing the, this one's trial for them, though. I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> Whatever, I guess. Um, would you like to see my hut? <laughs> it's a good hut. I don't know what to say, man. <laughs> yeah, anyway. Um, apparently, I'm just doing the, the trial for what's-his-face. Um. Which is fine, I guess. Uh, okay, okay, I don't know why that immediately dismounted me. Okay, Talthus, oh, Talthus is over here. I just didn't see him, and it didn't highlight him for whatever reason. There, I gave him the relics. I guess... Theoretically, maybe he also got more. Is 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 the uh, the the uh, the actual lore there? Because otherwise, he did shit all. Um, I don't know if uh, if I think they should pass their trials if uh, they don't do any of the work. What is that? Where's where's Hadwin? Or not Hadwin? The other. No, this is Hadwin's one. Where, where the fuck's Hadwin? Come help me, you bitch. Fine, whatever. <laughs> okay, now he shows up. Fine. 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 Yeah, there's too much going on in his zone when you've got the Ferrax step up and also a Dreamster and also a ton of world quests and also a blah blah. Yeah, it's a lot. It's a lot. Um, okay, Valiant A, let's let's go let's go heal your your friends. I don't remember. Do I get anything decent from healing these things? 
They were definitely too much to handle on my own at the beginning, and I never really felt like joining a group to run around doing it for the most part. But like, honestly, these things still have too much health. Good lord. not be in the middle of that when I zone back in, I guess. Don't entangle me, bro! Okay, that didn't... Okay, that, that looked like it stunned him, but it didn't. It was really strange. I don't know what that's about. I, I really thought that this was going to be easier to kill on my own, considering this is a launch level thing. Um... Oh, fuck. <laughs> I died right before I, I got Why in, and so uh, um, but it apparently it's here. fine. What would you this temple focuses <sighs> the energies of life to order the dream? Okay. Must be stopped before he reaches the heart of a near Uh so Alright, cool. Um and it doesn't help that he's scaled up to 10.1.7 power levels right now. Oh, is that like just because I'm on those quests? Because Yeah, or or what? Because yeah, if that's the case, then that certainly doesn't help. Uh, oh my god, what, Esme? Me just dropping dead and then immediately being like, whoops, never happened! <laughs> or what? Hell the trees! Or not. Uh, it's, oh, it's because of the dream surge. Uh, okay, alright. Well, fine. If I'm going to do that, I will do it another time. When it is not a dream surge time. Because, yeah. That makes some degree of sense, even though I was not aware of that being how it worked. Um, so yeah. <sighs> I, I'm still working on my DPS, you know? I don't think my talents are at all optimal. I hate switching them to the fight, so... And it, I mean, it's still better than it was before, because at least now I'm, uh, actually using all of the talents that I have. Of Although, like, I don't... Why do I fucking want slam? Do I, is the slam serve literally any purpose for me? Because I feel like it doesn't, and it used to be an ar arms-only thing, and I just don't know why I would want it. And, and yeah, I don't <laughs> I don't want to use it, but I have it, so I feel weird not using it. I prefer when it was just an arm thing. I don't need, like, seven different attacks. I just don't. Uh, <laughs> I keep using Odin Fury at several times, which doesn't matter because it's fucking not hard, but yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. I guess, I guess there, someone already shouted, but yeah. Doo 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 doo. So yes, Gnarl, Gnarl Root, Igira, and Smolderon aren't that's, that's an okay set. Is someone going to immediately pull the tree once the crash is dead? That is the question. But I guess if the tank and everybody stay in the center, then at least it would be a tank. But we'll see. <laughs> okay, you guys just aren't gonna pull shit out of the, the death pump. That's fucking fantastic. Best tanks ever. Um, I'm getting out of here. <laughs> you are too late, champions. Even now, flame and shadow twists its mind. Cookies. Will you allow this beast to ride like in cookies. agony? Cookies or give tasty. it a quick death. I look forward to watching either way. Uh-huh. 
And look, nobody immediately pulled it. I'm so proud. There is only okay, never mind. Um, yeah, no, that that was in fact a a priest, a shadow priest. That, well, I mean, maybe just a priest, but probably a shadow priest. Of which there is one who pulled that. So, welpity welp. <laughs> Yeah, the whole heroic uh, mechanic of having to wake them up in like a strategic way, but also in a way that leaves bottles on the floor is super annoying. Uh, because then you have to be strategic about where you're fighting him as well, and yeah. I don't know, it's not that big of a deal. It'll be fine. I, I just don't really know how to approach it. I mean, okay, that's not true. I've done fights like that before. I know how we'll end up dealing with it when we get to that point, but it's a pain in the butt. And I don't want to deal with it, and that's the that's the whole argument. Yeah. Also, like, what's with the what is with the the green wing? Like, those are just two straight up normal defenders that that were fighting for for no reason. But also, maybe there is a reason, and I just don't know what it is. Like. Like, I feel like usually they try harder to justify that, like, ah, this is a defense system, but instead of letting it fight the bad guys, we're gonna kill it for some fucking reason. Like, why, why, why do we spend so much time in this game weakening our own defenses? That's what I want to know. <laughs> That's what I want to know. Why that? Because you have no idea. Yeah, like, I mean, I think it's just, like, a neat idea for encounter design, and that's fine, but, like, at least make it make sense. I don't, I don't know. Whatever. There are enough people that we probably should have gotten all of those, but whatever. There's only one left. Oh, no, it did take a little thing. And that went great. <laughs> But yeah, like, I, it just feels really weird to, to kill our own defenders when there are still a bunch of other bad guys to kill, right? I don't know. Elaine, you think you found the correct TV trophy for Sargeras' well-intentioned extremist? Yeah. I, I feel like, especially the Marvel movies, but a lot of different things are really bad for that, where it's like... Like, oh, we... These guys have a point, but we're gonna pretend that they don't. Um, screams were beginning to I feel like I want that so that I could theoretically tank, but I'm not gonna tank on this character. Um, it looks nice. Um, but yeah, I don't know. It, it, it's, it feels like one of those like, we should stick with the status quo, actually, because anyone who wants to make things better is actually a terrorist. <laughs> and I'm like, mm, I don't know how I feel about that messaging. <laughs> Where are we going, guys? What are we doing? What? What are we doing? Why are we walking backwards? I'm so confused. <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> Oh, they're just going to go talk to everybody? I, guess, I don't know, whatever. Who cares? But yes, well-intentioned extremist would be uh, the TV trope, yes. You mean the plot of Black Panther? Yes, Bankos, that is exactly what I am talking about. <laughs> I mean, like, a bit Thanos too, but yeah, Black Panther is probably one of the, the worst defenders for that. Like, 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 he was fucking right. He was right. He was right. And yes, the way that he went about trying to fix it was absolutely wrong. But then for for the, the thesis of the movie to basically be like, ah, yes, so we will do something that is essentially the equivalent of relying on billionaires to solve our problems. Mmm. Status quo, baby. Tasty. Yum, yum. <laughs> Elaine says it's a quick way to make a villain likable, but yeah, Marvel actually does use it to support the, the status quo. Kind of. Yeah, exactly, right? Like, I feel I feel like it makes a lot of sense. I, I like that we've had more villains that have layers to them, and it's not just cartoon villain, bad, bad guy, guy bad, kill guy kind of thing. But also, there there's a bit of a sinister undertone to it, especially when the causes that these people are fighting for are like 
extremely valid reasons to be frustrated and want change, right? You know? I don't know. I feel like, uh... Like, it's not, it's not the same as Black Panther, but I feel like, uh, the, what, um... Far From Home? That Spider-Man movie? Mysterio? Mysterio? Mysterio was fucking right. <laughs> Mysterio was right! <laughs> Fight me! <laughs> so, yeah, there's, there's a lot of Marvel and Disney, well, recent Disney villains where I'm like... Okay, maybe it's almost exclusively Marvel at this point, but yeah, it's bad. <laughs> and I have extremely mixed feelings about it. So, yeah, it's a lot. Okay, I guess I'm gonna deal with all the fucking spears then. Except for the one that's really far away. Yeah, I was really hoping... Like, we did pretty good yesterday with just, like, pretty much all of them being gone by the time I had helped down one of them. Uh, and that doesn't seem to be the case in LFR because people aren't focusing them, but you know what, that's just how it's so. Hey, Igira, why do you suck? Um, oh, okay, I guess nobody, nobody stacked. Except, okay, we kind of did. We kind of stacked. This is a good act, by the way. It looks nice. Um, Elaine, one reason you largely left MCU after Civil War is you felt like Captain America's position was police who kill civilians should never be questioned. Yeah, no, 100%. Yeah. Yeah, things got real fucking sketch in, at Civil, in, in Civil War. It was, yeah, no, I agree. And, like, I feel like their whole reason for making that his position was because it was, like, the unexpected character to want that. And it was like, ooh, it's a twist. Uh, but yeah, I feel like that in some ways kind of betrayed his character, which is a bummer. Um, but yeah, I agree that that's what it felt like they were arguing for, and I didn't like that. So... <laughs> And yeah, like, I, I don't know that that was exactly the point where I hopped off MCU train, but I have officially gotten bored. Uh, being in a coordinated group helps. Oh, I, oh, for sure. And I don't expect coordination out of LFR, but still. Vengos, <laughs> uh, you mean that was his position in the original Civil War? Okay, I mean, fair. Fair enough that maybe it was from the comics, but I do still feel like making it Captain America that thought that was kind of like the... I don't know. Like, the, it, it just it felt like it was kind of a role reversal for him in Iron Man, at least in the movie. I don't know how the whole Iron Man part played out in the comics, but, like, yeah. I, and I'm not even saying that that's necessarily a bad thing. I, I just... The, the, the roles assigned in that movie felt like it was specifically designed to be like, a, ah, yes, we're reversing your... undermining your expectations... That, that's not quite the word I'm looking for, but you know what I mean, right? I think. So. Uh, the original Civil War is also a lot more nuanced because everyone has power in the comics. Yeah, exactly. That's, that is completely fair uh, as well. I, like, again, I haven't read the comics, uh, but I fully believe that. I mean, some comics are just fucking ridiculous, like, no matter what, basically, but, uh, the other times they tell really good nuanced stories, and I do appreciate when that happens. I have not been participating in weapon selection soaking, and I do feel a little bit bad about that, but also, whatever. <laughs> Clearly, it's getting done by somebody. She's almost dead anyway. How's it going? Welcome here. Good to see ya. And thank you very much for the for resub as well. So. Yeah! Watch me. Oh, fuck, of course it's a fucking one hand. Ooh, that's pretty though. I like the the, the blue color that's apparently happening in in Raid Finder level. Cool! Still not getting any fucking loot. Sweet. <laughs> <laughs> How is this possible? The druids of the flame have redirected the temple's focus to the Firelands. Um, so... The seeds of life are in place. 
I guess this is Solderon. It's so weird to do this one first. Honestly. Lend your strength to Super weird. They wish you chain, my lord. Yeah, we decided to do LFR a little bit. To the firelands alone. Because why not? I need more crests, right? I'm almost uh, capped on my Drake quest crests, but I don't know what the limit is on the whelping ones. Yeah, okay, I actually am maxed on the Drake's ones, which sucks a little bit. Um, yeah, nowhere near capped on the whelping ones. Um, and I mean, I, I could do high enough level mythics to get worm crests, which would be good. Um, but I'm not 100% sure I have the gear for that right now, so we'll see how that goes. Um, Lee says, I level 441 in LFR, that seems a bit high. It's not. Um, it's roughly what you get from World Quest at this point, too. It just, it, the, the item level jump is fairly large between last patch and this patch, um, but normal, uh, normal baseline drops 460, so if that puts it into perspective at all. Um, Elaine, it's funny because you actually uh, walked out of Civil War liking it. You thought it was a bold move to make Captain America the villain of his own movie. And then the producers started giving interviews about how Tony Stark was the villain of the movie. And it was clear that they were going to pretty much hand wave the consequences to move the plot along to Infinity War. And that turned you off. That is extremely fair. And, and yeah, like... <laughs> yeah, yeah. I get that. Because I agree that, that Captain America's position in that movie was not an admirable position to hold. So... Yeah, no, I'm with you on that. I, I never really paid attention to the extended, like, interviews and stuff like that, which is not at all to be like, ah, I'm better. It's just an I don't fucking pay attention. <laughs> That's it. It's the whole thing. Um, but yeah, I get that, and I, I don't disagree. And Banquos is pointing out that the, they bumped the item levels up 39 points. Yeah, exactly. So, like, that's the thing is I don't know if 445 is high enough to do, like, a, like a, like a Mythic 10, or I guess 11 at this point. Uh, uh, sorry, someone asked a question. <laughs> uh, is this the first week this is available in LFR? Yeah, it's also the first week of it's available, period, my dude. Uh, but yes. Uh, it's easily high enough? Sweet. Okay, because I don't, um, because yeah, I don't really want to do mythics and not get any crests. Um, because it's maxed out. <laughs> And also, uh, the, the gear that I got last night already needs, uh, worm crests to upgrade, like, this, this one whole fucking piece. So yeah, like, I already had a belt that I had gotten earlier in the day from the world boss, so that sucked that that was the only piece that I replaced. Um, but it, the, the stats were definitely better on this one, so it's fine. But it was very much a side grade, which sucks because I have a lot of things that would have been a straight up really good upgrade, you know? So, but that's good the, to know that I can do at least 11, which like that doesn't really surprise me. And, and I've gotten almost 10 item levels just this week alone. I mean, I guess last, yeah, no, last week too. Last week and this week, but yeah. If you have a circle around you, use red out. If you don't, help the tank soak. Yep. Uh, someone's coming back from a three month break and feel so far behind. I mean, <laughs> someone says most of us are my guy. I mean, yeah. Elaine, woot, finally got your fifth silky fur in Coral Island to complete the monster loot offering. Heck yeah, nice. Congrats. Uh, Bankos, yeah, you haven't uh, felt much, uh, or felt any difficulty other than pull too much from the 10 to 14 range. Okay, that's good. Uh, Jester was saying that, that an 18 this season felt like a 16 last season too, and I don't know how true that is because D Jester has... No offense, Jester, but you had some unpopular opinions sometimes. <laughs> um, but yeah. So, so, so. I actually, I really like this fight. Uh, I think it's neat. Um, not everybody uh, who didn't have a circle soak that. That is for sure. <laughs> um, but yeah, honestly, I think most of the fights in this raid are pretty well designed. I'm, I'm pretty happy with them. Um, Honestly, considering there's, like, no real strategy going on here, aside from maybe a bit from the tank, like, the placement of that could have been a hell of a lot worse. Um. But, yeah. 
Incineration! Don't move him yet, you guys! Now we have a weird gap. Okay, well, whatever. It's fine. Yeah, yeah, I shouldn't have charged through that. I should have waited as we got around, but it's fine! Um... Vegas is gonna lurk and run errands, no worries. Gotcha. We really need to get a Lily in the box. So there's this cuddles for the for the Yep. Um Apparently I missed an orb. I did I did briefly forget about the orbs. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Smolderon probably uh, I can't remember if, no, it's not Smolderon. No, I think it is. It is. Yeah, no. Smolderon actually is the boss that I think has the most loot for me. Uh, that, or at least that is good for me in this raid. Although, of course, uh, Barak is uh, has a lot of stuff as well, of course, because that's how it works. Oh, there are not very many people of us in that, or many of us in that circle. Yikes. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. We're fine. Blazers. And now we have a weird little spot. And the middle is fucked because all of the rings are just standing around in the middle like a bunch of dicks. Um, <laughs> I mean, to be fair, probably most people don't know. Um, although someone did give a little bit of a rundown um, before the fight started, so I don't know how much of an excuse people have. <laughs> oh well. Uh, where? Okay. Where are my orbs at? Orbsy orbs orbs. Uh, I will catch up with chat in a moment, by the way. Just so you guys are aware that I am paying attention to the fact that there is in fact stuff in chat. I feel like I should. Oh no! Oh, why are why are those overlapped? <laughs> why did those overlap? <laughs> I almost died trying to check check my damage. There. Uh, I don't even. There. Okay, yeah, I'm not even doing that great. So. Ow! Okay, this is a fucking mess. Can we, like, get our shit together, like, even a little bit, please? Um. I am gonna have an LFR based, uh, semi positive rant after this, by the way. Uh, just so y'all are prepared for what's coming. Okay, this is a mess, though. Like, this is a real ass mess. Um. Ho whole ass disaster. Um. We're fine! Everything is fine. I don't need to see this. I saw it last night. Uh, sorry, you guys. Uh, um, yeah, I guess I'll roll for those. Of course. Yes, so I, I want this sword extremely bad. Um, I, I, I like the flame version of it maybe more. Oh, great, a 15! So that'll, I'll definitely get it with that, right? Cool. Um, so, okay. Uh, Lee, you've never been a fan of LFR. It seems to make raids mindless, which you feel like WoW raids aren't supposed to be mindless. Uh, and Elaine says LFR drove you nuts in Shadowlands because you felt like it was too hard for the casual players, but still too easy for the people who wanted more... Uh, uh, queuable normal, right? And yeah, LFR just seems like something they put in the game to please the really casual players, which to be fair is a ton of people these days. So, um, yeah, basically, uh, and yes, Nalgar, the, the, weirdly enough, the way that they've split it, this boss is available, but the side wings aren't. It's just, it's a bit of an odd choice, but whatever. Um, but also I get how they couldn't have necessarily split it up the other way. Um, and Elaine, that's, uh, what it was supposed to be, not, uh, because so supposed to be because so much of the story is in raids you think they should make it even easier but gear out of it person but take gear out of it uh see i like the additional coloration like having another level of and like color of gear 
Uh, but anyway, you like Final Fantasy XIV raids because with eight people, it is an impossible to organize uh, even a group of randoms to actually do mechanics. Yeah, that's fair. Uh, he's the final boss in that wing. Yes. Uh, Nelgar, you're in front of the big worm now. Congratulations. Good work. So here's the thing. Here's the thing with LFR. Uh, yeah, n no worries, Nelgar. Mute me when you need to. I understand. Uh, good luck. I hope you get gear. Um, so here's the thing with LFR. I, I agree with you guys now. Um, I, I don't know what's coming, uh, Esme. I, I finished LFR, so now we're just yelling. Um, <laughs> but uh, basically, basically, uh, when LFR was first introduced, it was a lot more like a real raid. And that did cause a lot of problems. Um, and I didn't actually use LFR at the end of Cataclysm when it first came out, but I did spend a lot of time in LFR in Mists of Pandaria, especially in the Throne of Thunder patch. Um, but I can never say that I hate LFR or that it's bad or shouldn't exist because it is the entire reason... So, uh, Esme, LFR is, is a queuable version of the raid. Uh, it's like one of the harder kinds of content in the game, uh, queuing it, queuing just means you're doing it with a bunch of random people you haven't like met or intentionally grouped up with. Um, so there's no like coordination. There's no like voice chat and stuff that you would usually have in raids. Um, and you're not doing it with the same group o o every week or whatever. Um, but yeah, it's, it's the whole reason that I raid in the first place. It is the, it is the thing that got me into raiding in Throne of Thunder. Unacceptable! Um, and, and so for that, I will always be grateful for it. And Throne of Thunder and LFR was, was absolutely a shit show in a lot of ways. Um, but it got to the point where, where, you know, like I was the person explaining fights because I did it a lot. And, uh, yeah, I don't know. I had a lot of good times. I did meet a lot of good people. Uh, it, there, there was also a lot of garbage going on uh so yeah it's always had its problems they they nerfed the ever-loving shit out of it in warlords so that like i literally like felt like i was ha sleepwalking uh <laughs> uh when i was doing lfr in warlords and i do think that the way that it's balanced right now is kind of okay like like it yeah it, it's still in a bit of a weird middle ground but at least it's not like completely put someone on follow and go to sleep anymore. <laughs> Cause it was like that for a while. And I was just really upset that they did that because I feel like when it was at that point, it really took it completely out of the running as a way to get people started raiding, get people interested raiding, get their foot in the door, give them a little bit of an idea of the kind of mechanics they're dealing with. So, like, I, I think it's in an okay spot now. I don't know how it was last expansion. They seem to... to the, the, Blizzard pendulum swings on everything. Um, and I feel like LFR is one of the things that they've swung back and forth with uh, in the worst way the most. <laughs> um, and so that sucks. Um, and, and it's regularly been in a really bad place. But it is how I got into raiding and I can't imagine that I'm the only person uh, who discovered their love of raiding through LFR, right? And so I'm glad that it exists <laughs> is basically what I'm trying to, to say. I, I don't think it's fantastic. It is a really good thing so that people can see the story if they don't have time or the availability to raid with a group um, and all that. And like, I don't think it's like great raiding, but it it is a start. It gives you a taste. It gives you an idea. Um, and, and then like when I got into actual raiding, I went from LFR to doing like pug raids. <laughs> uh, and then it's kind of all the same problems, except now you have voice chat and you have to wait an hour and a half to get a full group. Right. <laughs> so I don't know. And Elise says, uh, then Nazoth, like Nazoth was too easy for one person to troll and wipe the raid on. Mythic Raiders would go into LFR and then remove their cloaks. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. And, and like, ultimately the problem ends up being people. <laughs> and a lot of the time I think that that LFR is the worst of it because there's enough people that everyone feels like even more disconnected than you do in a group of five people. But 
Yeah, I, I, I don't know. Part of the problem is people who actually do it at higher levels coming in and, like, bitching and moaning that the casuals don't know how to do it at the same level of them, which is just fucking obnoxious. But yeah, I, I don't know. The LFR goes back and forth. It's a whole thing, but I'm glad that it exists. Anyway, that's my whole rant. I have to go to the bathroom, so I am going to do that. I don't know why I clicked that one, but whatever. I will be right back. <laughs>
Esme, it is possible that you are hearing an owl or something because I left the game sound on. Uh, so probably that. <laughs> I could have turned the game sound off, but I didn't. I, I turned my mic off, but yeah. Uh, Elaine, the number of times you saw Why Are You Explaining It? It's just LFR mechanics don't matter, followed by multiple wipes is insane. Yeah, no, for real. Like, guys. <laughs> like, mechanics are not as important. It is okay if a handful of people don't know what's going on or aren't paying attention, but they matter. <laughs> like, don't shoot yourself in the foot by just refusing to explain things. That's dumb. Nalgar, uh, looked like we were watching Rosaka creepily from the bushes. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Come, stand <laughs> uh, yeah, what a bunch of freaks you are. Jeez. Uh, yeah, anyway. So, yeah. I'm, I'm really unhappy with how the, the technically not second skin worked out with this tattoo. I, my skin's angry. There was... A bunch of adhesive stuck to the tattoo yesterday. It pulled off some scabs and I think are gonna need touch-ups. I'm I'm just unhappy about it. And there's also like I don't know if they're technically pimples or not, but either way, it's just it's done terrible things to my skin and I never want to use it again. It sucks. <laughs> so May yeah. tear take your hand. You dare to steal from my crucibles! Yeah, yeah, hi, Brad. I am coming for you, little worms. You will perish in flames. Little babies. Little baby bears. Okay, apparently I've pissed off lashers, but all right. The clan spell does not seem strong enough for their mother. Perhaps if I lay hands on her. And counteract the decay. It's working! The decay is gone, and I can see she is regaining her strength. Yes. Could not have done this without you. I'm going to see if I can help more creatures here, then I'll meet you at camp. Like, like it's fine, but I don't understand how this is their trials. Uh, this, this is the uh, helping tears exemplars thing from I think last patch yeah yeah because this is after the uh, the stuff with Eternus so but yeah campaign quests from last from last patch not this one <laughs> I am behind all of the all the did I don't know whatever <laughs> what not impressed by my sparkling personality Yes, I'm impressed by your sparkling Everyone personality. Everyone compassion. Everyone. Seriously, passion for the Vrykel inspires me. Blah, blah, blah. I, blah, blah. I don't I care. Light bless you. Uh-huh. May Tia's sacrifice not have been in vain. Walk always in the light. For Tear in all things. Uh, Lee, you're literally doing the same thing as me right now. Like, one quest ahead. That is funny. Greeting. But yeah, I'm just trying to catch up because <laughs> I haven't caught up. I was doing catch up stuff for a while and then I just got distracted and went back to doing mythics. So, yep. <laughs> uh, did they all complete their trial successfully? Good. I'm sure you played no small part in that. There's one final step we need to take before I can formally induct our recruits as full fledged members of the Tears Guard, the Tears Guard initiation ch ceremony. It would make me proud if you stood with us on the steps of Tearhold, as I will formally reforge the Tears Guard. Will you join Until us? Until we meet again. I guess if I have to. I'm gonna heart. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Okay, I'm sure that there was still another voice line or two to hear there, but I don't care. I mean, not even voice line, just text. But you know what I mean. You know what I mean. By the way, one of the random fun thing, I was looking at Alex Strauss's hair and thinking about it. Uh, I've always kind of considered uh, my Draenei warrior to be a redhead, or at least as close as that could get. Uh, but now with the Minari customizations, she actually is a real redhead. <laughs> Which is it's kind of insane that that wasn't possible until this point in time. So, that's fun. Do 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 do. Let's go. 
As we have to deal with the traveling salesman. Ugh, my least favorite. Well met. Goodbye. Ooh, Tell this. Cutscene. No lucky. Hadwin. I thought that was me for Valerie. a second. Come forward. I am proud to stand with you this day. And proud that you have come to embody the Look spirit cool of Tears legacy. I'm Order. so cool. Sacrifice, justice, and <laughs> compassion. As captain of the Tears Guard, I welcome you to our ranks. May the light bless our mission. For Tear! Yeah, For Tear! Pretty good. I like the trailer. Because I could also go level my warlock. I could do stuff on my priest. There's so many things to do right now, you guys. So many things. But I'm also just, you know, a patch behind on campaign stuff. So not, not completely. I've done some of the current campaign stuff that isn't the tier stuff. But yeah. The Tears Guard stands once again. I feel both renewed and very old. They still have much to learn, and I have much to teach them. Now, on to the task of recovering Tears' memories. Now, let's work to... Let's get to work tracking down the disc. I can't believe that after thousands of years, we're so close to seeing Tear return. Much less that I'll have a hand in it. We should meet with Chromie and Eternus inside. They'll tell us what Until to do next. Until we meet again. Oogie. I also like Change that Eternus is, is one good. of the few uh, dragons that chooses a troll form. Champion! Gerard! You're back! And just in time, Eternus and Nosdormu are ready to track Tyr's disc. Yes. In your absence, behind the frame Eternus and Cube are on Prime at the moment. The I don't remember which ones those are. And infinite magic to track the discs fall through the timeways. Each portal is a gateway Did to I a timeway look? relevant to Tyr. A time of his victory, a time <sighs> of his defeat. And a time bereft of his influence, taking a beacon and placing one nice at of each of these hmm. moments in time and space, will show us where Tears' disc rests. I will leave that to you, Champion, and the Tears Guard. Take the beacons and find the location of Tears' disc. Okay. Cool. Uh. Well. Uh, it reminds you you need to like get level your rogue to six to seventy at some point. Yeah, I yeah, I I always have mixed feelings about alts. I just don't feel like I have enough time to do everything I want to do on my main, let alone with alts, right? But also, I like playing other classes sometimes, so I don't know. But then I just can't do any in level content because I don't gear them up, and it's just it's a whole thing. I don't I don't know what I want. <laughs> uh, the yeah. must be preserved. We gotta place beacons. The portals are ready. The sooner your team deploys those problem. beacons, the sooner we can get to the location of the disc. How you deploy your forces is up to you and Trevor. We will. All right, people, form up. Talthus, Valune, take the right portal. Aye, Captain. For Tear! Hadwin, Nolaki, take the left portal. Oh, you put me with this brute again? Brute? <laughs> oh, I see how it is. Yeah, well, this brute will kill more of whatever's behind <laughs> that portal than you. Korinos, I think it's best you stay behind and guard the portal with our dragon friends. But, Champion, you and I are going straight down the middle. Good luck, Trevard. Okay, Good cool. Luck, Bye. Champion. Wrath of the Lich King. Okay. Okay, I was like, where the fuck's Trevard? Uh Okay. We're doing the thing. Okay, I was like, do I need to click that? Cause that's gonna be a problem if I gotta do that between fighting. But it it just happens, so alright. Don't don't help me fight. Keep setting up the beacon, you tool. Like, I mean, I, I realize that it's fine, but... <laughs> like, it's it's getting done when I just kill them rather than anything else. But, like, I don't need your fucking help, Trevard. I really don't. 
So yeah, I decided to boost my priest and level my warlock, so now I have to actually level the warlock. But I did get two levels in one dungeon the other day, so leveling is not the ordeal that it used to be, for, that's for sure. Brevard, I don't need your help. Steps are written on it are written in common, but they might as well be Thalassian for what sense they make. Well, I thought you said Eternus taught you, honey. Whatever, it's apparently happening. You should be the last two. Our, our game... Yeah, I feel like maybe my game volume is just entirely too loud today, but at the same time, like, voice-wise, it's been okay. But sorry if my attacking noises and stuff have been too loud. <laughs> Bleep. Hello? Welcome back. Eternus said there was a signal from your beacon, so I assume everything went smoothly? You Welcome bet. Back. Uh. <laughs> uh oh. We, we, we missing? Yeah. Talthus and Valine haven't returned. Uh, they must have had trouble with their beacon. We can't find the disc without it, and there's no way to help from here. We must lead the Tears Guard through their portal to help. Are you ready, Good Anania? Luck. Of course we're going to help them. We're not idiots. <laughs> it needs to happen. <laughs> yeah, what's up? Trevor, champion. Valenay has fallen prey to a faceless one. I can't get through to her. We'll protect the beacon. Go and help Valune. Uh, okay. My commander, you once saved my life. Let me save yours. Come with me. So. Uh, <laughs> I have another mission for you. Well, this is right. This can't be your friend. You should resist her. It's luring you away from the beacon. Her. Away from us. Resist it, Valonay. For life's sake. Resist? This is my commander. She will prove it. It's not your yet. commander anymore. Tell them what you would say to me when you would catch me daydreaming. Mm, I would say... <laughs> Foolish Grey Knight. I will end you. Uh-huh. Do I actually have to fight this or do I just have to, to fight this guy? Yeah. Meow. Big nasty faceless one. Also, ooh, is this a new model of faceless one? Because it sure looks like it. Interesting. Do 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 do. Why are we so many shades? Everybody falls for a faceless we one's lies at some point, Valonay. It's fine. I mean, I did? Oh, okay, now there's another one. Oh, another one's. Multiple ones is. -es. Okay. Because you remember when the meme was that Elephar and Azoth is harder than Mythic and Azoth. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't, you know, I didn't actually, I, I have literally never done that fight. I have never been in that raid. I don't. I'm pretty fucking sure I've never been in that raid. Because I, I left sometime uh, after Ashara. Uh, like, I don't even know if we downed Ashara on Heroic before I took a break, and then I came back for, like, a week or two of Shadowlands, and I just, I couldn't stick around, so. Um. Okay, sure, I guess. Bye! Okay. Greetings. And everyone is back? Or is... Yeah, no, everyone's back. We're all back in one piece. Thank the light. Now hopefully our dragon friends can find that disc. Until we meet again. 
We were successful, Rizaka, but we barely made it back from our battle with the Black Empire. Eternus is still divining the location of the... Okay, whatever. We need patience. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, I'd like to ask a favor. I have unwavering faith in my recruits, but I'm worried about Valune. I would speak to her, but I don't want it to appear as though I think she has failed us. Talk to her and make sure she's all right. Uh, ooh, gilded armor. Uh, may also be a good idea to check in with the rest of the Tears Guard as well. Welcome. You ask me if I'm okay? You ask if I'm ready? Razaka, did you see what that Black Empire mess did, or, did to our Valine? To my sister in Tears Guard? Oh no, that cannot stand. That is why we must, why we follow the light and why we follow the Tear and the Titans. That scourge has no place here. And if we bring Tear back, we will bring light to every corner of Azeroth. There will be no place the Void can hide. When Eternus finds the disc, disc I'll be the first to go after it. I raise my shield for the light. I raise my sh the shield for my brothers and sisters. I raise my shield for Tear. I'm going to talk to the traumatized one last. Nalaki and I didn't realize it, but we had it dead easy. It doesn't seem fair, really. Talthus and Valine got a hole full of tentacles and a Black Empire morass, and we got elementals? I'm going to smell like sulfur for ages, but Valine, I can't imagine what she's going through. But I'm okay. In fact, it makes me want to fight harder. That battlefield was in a world untouched by Tear or the Light's Blessing. The only rule was that the fittest survived. It made me realize a world without tear is a world without justice, and that his justice is worth fighting for. Think okay. What is right. Like I'm, I'm getting to a l of the point of being like a little eye rolly at this point. Uh, Banquos, Nazoth is a fine boss fight, but it's also really dependent on your tank knowing the pathing for the down phase and everyone having kicks. Interesting. Interesting. I should probably go solo it at some point. It's not like it would be that hard at this point, probably. Um, I don't even know where the entrance to that raid is. I don't even know what that raid is called. I've never done it. <laughs> and that is, that kind of sucks. But I also haven't done any of the Shadowlands raids, so whatever. Um, when we first started, first arrived, I was paralyzed by what I saw around me. This, a place that was all void, no light, no trace of the Titan's order. It was writhing and squishy. Talthus looks nauseated by the thought. But Valiane was not bothered. She set the beacon, but then she was called away by that thing. She should have kept her mind on the mission. Those were our orders. Still, I know she feels awful. I should speak to her. No, I'm doing that because I'm apparently the club therapist at the moment. I found my purpose. Oh no, I... Oh, apparently I can't talk to him anymore. Uh, seeing Eriska again, Everyone. she was my mentor and like a sister to me. I know that she was an illusion, but having to strike her down, I am shaken to my very center. My heart aches, not just for Eriska, but that I let my guard down. Talthus could have been killed. The beacon could have been destroyed. I've always thought my compassion was a strength, but is it a weakness? No. Tyr had compassion, and it was his strength. I must be more wary. The void is treacherous and will come in many forms, but I am ready, Rizeka. I will be fine. I, I mean, I don't know that I cared enough to talk to Trevard anyway, but whatever. I'm glad to hear you were able to speak to her. It sounds like she is ready despite what happened. A lesser person would not have been able to pick themselves up after that, but Valiane is stronger than many of us realize. As soon as Eternus locates the disc, we will be ready. Until I almost have it. The e disc is stuff. in the Nighthold. The Nighthold? Nighthold? Interesting. Will it then be difficult Why? To Why is it in Nighthold? <laughs> that depends on when. The Nighthold is in Suramar. A great and ancient city and the home of the Nightborn. But yes, the when is very key I there. I sense a presence with the disc. A powerful one. Elisari. Yep. Oh, that could be a problem. She's a powerful master of magic and would know the disc's power. She may not want to let it go. Elisari wouldn't want to let anything go. I would take time to prepare before retrieving the disc. Elisand will be a dangerous foe. I will have the champion at my side, but I agree. The Tears Guard needs to rest and recover before we face another battle. We'll be ready when you're ready, Trevard. We'll get Tear back. Okay, is that the end of the campaign right now, or...? Or do I just need to go there? Troll, orc, human. All the same, really. Um, I can't tell if there's actually. I don't even know where 
they're going. Where is Tears Rest anyway? I feel like I should know. But I don't. Where y'all going? Are you just gonna disappear into the thin air in a minute? Because probably. Where is it? Is it like... God, you guys are slow. Where are you going? Is it this or is it? I can't, I can't tell. I'm kind of assuming it's this, but they're all disappearing. So whatever. I, I just can't tell if that, if the campaign is actually over at this point. Yeah, okay. The more I learn about Elisand, the more I wish Trevard had chosen someone else. Don't say that. You're the heart of this team. We're gonna do this together. Uh, that's the end. They have normal flying. <laughs> yeah, they do. Okay, I just wasn't sure if they're, like, I mean, that being the end for this patch makes sense, or for the last patch, I just wasn't sure if there was more from this patch or not. But okay, there we go. We caught up with that. We still haven't done all the blue dragon flight stuff, but, you know. Oh, what was this again? I don't remember what this was. Should we, should we go do this? Go figure out what this is? Perhaps. And then probably Hearth and end up going back to the Emerald Dream, but still. <laughs> I don't know what I want to do. I mean, I guess if we went to the Emerald Dream right now, we could catch the end of a Super Bloom, and I, I, I don't care. Although, I think the the one... Wow, there's a lot of cool shields and stuff from this expansion. Um, oh, that's Blue Dragon Flight stuff? Oh, okay. Um, I got the, the Winter Kitty yesterday. It's the only dream I've gotten out of the, or only mount I've gotten out of the dream the so far. Are here. Plant our um. What the dragon scale expedition has discovered. Mm hmm. But yeah, um, I think that's like the rare one though. So that's kind of interesting. Apparently, I don't have this. I don't care. Give me my rep. <laughs> uh, the first plant you did in the dream, you got a mount. You know what, Lee? <laughs> you know what? <laughs> Fuck it, whatever. Let's go, let's go to the Emerald Dream. I don't want to do the Blue Dragon Flight stuff right now. Not because it's not good, because it is. I just don't feel like getting, going down that particular rabbit hole right now. So, whatever. It is what it is. Try not to have this be like over, over parts of the tattoo, but. There are so many mounts and toys and pets and just tons and tons of things in this expansion that I haven't gotten. And it sucks a little. <laughs> There's so many things. So many things. And also, like, it's just, it's too much to keep track of. Like, I don't know how to get most of them. Even the ones that I, like, have read the explanation for a couple times. And, yeah. I don't know. Whatever. It's a lot. Yeah, there should still be like five to seven minutes left in the Super Bloom, so let's go. Also, apparently there's a little dude following me around with a quest. All right, because I got a rep up. This <laughs> is a slightly damp note. Yeah, whatever, it's the tavern. Do do do. And look at me, showing up just in time to get the blue bag as well. Not sure we'll get the purple bag, but considering where, uh, maybe, I don't know. I don't know if we're gonna get it. We might, but it's certainly not a guarantee. And now I need to turn this shit down again, sorry. Because it got really loud there for a second. <laughs> Must tag many enemies. Because, <laughs> yeah, I did this yesterday morning with only like three people. And uh, it certainly makes a difference in how many enemies spawn. <laughs> Uh, when there are fewer people, which is interesting. Like, that makes sense, and I, th I think it's good for it to scale that way, but I don't know that I was expecting it to be that many fewer enemies, but yeah, I don't know. 
It was interesting. Like, sometimes I feel like you have five minutes to do this, so I don't know why this one's only two minutes. I don't know. I'm not exactly sure how it works. I, st I feel like that's still loud. And I, I could turn it down in the game also, but... Because you've done so much Super Bloom. Yeah, like I do think every hour, like I'm glad that it happens that often, but participating every hour is just like a no-go for me. It's too much shit. <laughs> so, yeah. It's, it, well, and, like, that's the thing, is it takes, like, a quarter of every hour, so there's only actually 45 minutes between every run, and it's, it's a lot. It's a lot. So I've kind of been limiting how much I do it, so. Ugh, am I, like, stretching it weird? I got a little bit of ouch there. It doesn't help that it has a contract recipe for you? Yeah. I mean, that's that's motivation to keep doing it, but also rip. <laughs> Ugh, I feel like we could theoretically get the the purple dream trove, but also it feels unlikely at this point with 30 seconds left. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> no worries, man. Uh, lurk away. I am really surprised we haven't had a cat show up yet. I'm disappointed. Sometimes they just, they get into, passed out in a box somewhere, and then they just don't leave for hours, and it ends up overlapping with screen, so. Boo. <laughs> See, like, yeah, okay, we can still get more. Even though that section is over, which we certainly should try to because we are extremely close. There we go. Okay, we did get it. That's good. But yeah, I'm pretty sure I got like the, the rarer mount um, yesterday, which is fascinating because that doesn't usually happen for me. <laughs> but I'm also not 100% sure, so... Yeah, but I don't think it was a purple flower. I think it was just the purple bag of a blue flower or something. Um, so I think it was the that one from the secondary bag. Can't figure out if someone planted a flower down there yet or not. If they did, stupid. Should have just waited till the end of this. But we'll see if they did. <laughs> All right. I don't mind knockbacks. It gets me an opportunity to show off how they don't bother me because I'm a warrior and I have charge. <laughs> I mean, it depends on the knockback, frankly. But, yeah. Yeah, okay. Nothing planted. Someone else is going to plant it. And if it's not an epic, I can join in terms of planting it. There you go. Okay, well that didn't work. There we go. Because yeah, I don't think there's anything else to spend due on, so for the most part I'm like, I might as well contribute a bunch. Uh, but yeah, other people are also doing that. I do think running around and pulling out the weeds is the most efficient way to get the do from these little mini events. Um, but yeah. Just also kill the lashers, cause why not? Sometimes doing these on your own is like a little bit more satisfying or at least <laughs> productive, I don't know. Uh but but yeah. Also has has its benefits doing it in a bigger group, so. Oh, look, it's a weevil to stomp. 
Stompy, Stompy, Weevil. Um, I didn't realize that there was a guy there. I guess I get why people prefer to do the things that don't involve fighting, but it's not like it's difficult to kill the lashers. Got him. Okay. Didn't necessarily mean to pull the kitty raptor, because I feel bad killing kitty raptors, because the kitty raptors are fantastic, and I want one as a mount really badly. Um, but yeah. Sorry, man. I got here first. Get over it. <laughs> yeah, maximum efficiency. <laughs> 22 seconds. I can kill another lasher or two in that amount of time. We got this. I have spent entirely too much time getting sidetracked by babysitting flowers um, in the dream. It's kind of bad. Oh, I missed it. That. Uh, yeah, okay. It is a poof. Wait, I thought I was capped out on those. Oh, yeah. Okay, so it downgraded it to whelping crests. Oh, that's a bummer. <laughs> but I mean, at least I'm getting some kind of crest, crests, so yeah. You have mixed feelings on like a half button user, half clicker. I am. I, I know, it's weird. I don't, I, I, <laughs> the buttons that are within easy reach of my left hand get, get button mashed uh, and, and everything else gets clicked. I don't know how everybody else does other things, uh, but that's what I do. <laughs> so I don't know what to tell you. But yeah. Um, well, that's pretty. I don't know that I like that it goes underneath the, the dangles on the belt, but it's a very pretty tabard. Uh, you have an MMO mouse. I mean, that's fair. I used to. Um... And now I don't. <laughs> so, but I also never really used it well, I don't think, so. Wait, why do I have this? Whatever. Um. What is this? When did I pick this up? Oh, is that? Yeah, okay. Interesting. Interesting. Um, see, I got a quest yesterday to, to get a pet from her that I already had, which was weird. And I feel like it might be gone now. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, yeah, the other ones with 12 buttons. And yeah, like, I just, I can't, I don't know. I feel like, I guess you'd get muscle memory for it eventually, but I just feel like I don't even know what to do with 12 buttons on my mouse. <laughs> like, that's just a lot. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I already have a snore. And then I got a quest to, to get a snore. And now that quest appears to be gone. And I don't. I don't know. I I find this whole system a little bit strange. So, whatever, I guess. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah, this was the other belt that I had. I didn't actually sell it. Um, can upgrade this, because why not? I could upgrade that. So yeah, this one, yeah, requires whelp ones. 
I don't know if those are worth upgrading because I'm probably going to replace them with uh, tier at some point. Hopefully in the near future, although that's certainly not a guarantee. Whatever, we'll upgrade these the whole way. Because why not? It'll get to the point where all of these Drake crests are completely fucking worthless anyway, so I might as well use them. Cool. There you go, now I'm 446! Uh, you have to use the pet, like, summon it. Uh, but I did, though. I did. I was standing next to her and I summoned it. The The whole thing was buy, like, the, the, the task was buy and learn it. So, like, I bought it and returned it, but that didn't count. And then I tried to summon it. And, yeah, I don't know. It was weird, but it also appears to be gone. So I don't know what was, what that was all about. Um, very confusing, frankly. Whatever, let's go, let's go, let's go do that. Let's go do the campaign. So that I don't, here, I'm gonna mine some shit. Everything looks a little different. Okay, I've just been getting a whole bunch of Traveler's Log stuff, even though I've already done it. Like, I've gotten a lot in the last couple days. Um, but yeah, like, there there was an earlier version of that quest that was like that. That was basically, like, just summon one that you already have, but I don't know. It's weird. I don't really understand what happened, but it's fine. Um, so yeah. I, I was over here and about to pick it up yesterday before raid, and then I went to go eat supper, and then it was raid time, and I didn't finish it, so... Bodwin reports that Galak is not the only new threat to the Eye. The Jaradin forces below are led by two others, a warrior and a mage. It is unwise to engage them directly on their own or in their own well-established base, but I am certain they are part of Galak's plan of attack. Please gather more information from these Jar Jaradin leaders. We need to know how best to counteract their attacks. God, words are hard. Uh, Bodwin can grant you stealth so that you may move unseen in the camp. Okay. Okay. Uh, Bobwin's scouting sortie returned more key information. The Jaradin plan to use suffused weapons to turn the tide of the battle. We must dispatch their smiths and destroy their weapons. Targeting both will weaken and slow them. Then we will have time to consider our next move. You will be in great danger on this mission. Take this. Throwing it onto enemies will temporarily put them to sleep. Use it so that you may avoid becoming overwhelmed in combat. Good luck. Um... So the fact that Marithra is very clearly voiced um, by Laura Bailey is just super weird to me. <laughs> not not because Laura Bailey isn't fantastic, because she absolutely is, um, and I have no complaints about her being more people. Um, but I just I just hear Jaina. That's it. I just hear Jaina and nothing else, and I don't know what to do about it. <laughs> like I mean, I guess it doesn't matter. I don't know, but. Yeah, did that, that didn't even work. Okay, no, all right, all right. You can put them to sleep until you hit them. But I'm a fucking AOE warrior, so I don't think that's gonna help me much. Welp. <laughs> no, you, go, you don't get to detonate, you just die. That's it. No fun for you. Um. And hey, there's a world quest here anyway, so I'm really glad I didn't do this on its own, I suppose. <laughs> I don't know if I'm close enough to do the spying just yet. Ow, I was not paying attention. And that was ouchie. I do need to pay attention to kill these things without dying. because... Uh, this is definitely, like, a group quest type thing. <laughs> so, I, that's the whole thing, I guess? Cool. Uh, <laughs> at least these guys are non-elites. 
But the big scary guy went away. <laughs> the sneezing. Why the sneezing? Just the worst, honestly. Oh, hello, stranger. Not that this is the most effective way to get those points, uh, or percentage rather, but you know, it'll do. Aha! All right, so this might be a little bit risky. <laughs> Dude, really? You're going over there to fight that? You're not even gonna help me? I mean, I wasn't really expecting you to help me, but then you went and killed something right over there, so... Hey, Druid! No, you're also going to kill one of the quest mobs that I would like to get. Cool. Cool. Whatever, I guess. <laughs> Alright, well, I guess I'll also accept you helping me with this one. It's not... It's not that it, anyone owes me help. It's just nice when you're fighting elites. <laughs> I, yeah, I have an item to use that I could put them to sleep, but the thing is they only stay asleep until I hit them, which immediately brings them back because I have... I'm a fucking warrior. <laughs> everything is... Everything is f f fucking AoE, so it's, it's pretty worthless as far as I'm concerned. Ooh, I interrupted that with, like, half a second to spare at best. <laughs> Ow. Ow. Why can't I interrupt that? I mean, I probably could have if I stunned him, but... Yeah, I don't know. Whatever. It's fine. We'll kill this guy, and then we'll get another, um, thing again. Um, an impending victory. Just don't- No, no. You don't understand. <laughs> a way more of my shit is AoE than just Whirlwind. Way, way more. <laughs> like, like, way more. Like, I will... I don't even know what it is. Sometimes I'll be using, um... Uh, what I think are single target attacks and it'll still pull a bunch of shit around me and I don't really know why. Um, but also, some, sometimes it's just that, like, everything is a little bit... Like, I think that's a talents thing, maybe? I don't even know. Um, but yeah... It, it's a lot more than just whirlwind. <laughs> so, whatever. And you're sure it's talents? Yeah, I'm sure that it is too. I just don't know exactly. I don't remember what every talent I have does, which, you know, I think that's fair. Uh, but, yeah. <laughs> it adds up to being a lot of crap. <laughs> and I mean, to be fair, I can survive most of this without putting them to sleep as long as I'm not pulling four things at once, but, you know. Get him! And I mean, to be fair, I also do want to kill enough of the elites and stuff to... I mean, they don't have to be the elites, but I do want to finish that world quest, too. Um... I mean, I guess I can fly and try to find another thingy. Okay, or I could just get stuck inside a banner. Cool. Uh, <laughs> I need another suffusion supplies. There we go. It's fine. We got there. I got it. It's fine. It's fine. So. And whatever, like, being big on AoE is fine 98% of the time. It's just that sometimes it is a pain. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh, oh, let me help you with this, with the snake. The, I don't mind killing these ones. They're not that hard. Ah! 
Um, are those poles? Because it kind of seems like it. I don't know what's up with these spore bats. Okay, they're evade bugged, so never mind, I guess. Um, I don't care about the fusion shaper either, so, yeah. Uh, you get it, you're also a fury warrior. I don't remember that you're a fury warrior, I apologize, but yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> Oh, and apparently, apparently now that I've completed the requirements, that item is just not going to be easy to find, uh, if, if at all. So, like, okay, now they're, now they're both dead, or one of them is dead, so it doesn't even matter, but okay. Well, alright, I don't mind having someone to help, so. But yeah, like, it's fine. I'm doing fine. We're 83% done the world quest. I don't, I, I'm just too fucking lazy to join groups for things like that. It's literally just more effort than I want to put in. It's not hard. It really isn't, but I don't feel like dealing with it. So I just don't. <laughs> the whole thing. Oh, uh, uh, uh. Okay. Uh, bye. Oh, I guess I did a, a living, uh, uh... <sighs> the other kind of ore. <laughs> Ceravite, I guess? Yeah, whatever. Because I was like, what do you mean new recipe? But yeah. It's always interesting when they attempt to make, uh, uh, mining more interesting. There was, like, a whole bunch of stuff with it in, uh, Legion as well. Okay, can you die now, please? Thank you. Somnowl's Shroud. I, I saw someone that wasn't a druid that was out there looking like a somnowl yesterday and I want, I want it. I want it. Let me have it. I want to be a burp. Okay. Oh, for fuck's sakes. I have literally 1% of this quest left. Let's go. It's under Alex's head so you guys can't see it, but yeah. <laughs> Okay. Oh, and now I'm spying on Igira herself. Herself. Slightly, slightly weird knowing that I already killed her, but yeah. <laughs> Ooh, cutscene. You have returned from your hunt. I trust the weapons I supplied you were effective. <laughs> Good. Yikes. Now go. Take the eye. But bring me any prisoners you capture. Barak may want them for more testing. <laughs> what is he doing? It will be done. I mean, I've already gotten up to Farak on the raid. What is, what is he fucking testing? Just various... How how Shadow Flame affects Green's stuff? I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> hey, Marithra, bad news. Hello, champion. In and out, scout. Marithra is very still. Only her eyes betray unspeakable rage. I mean, yep. Yeah. Okay, so what do all of these look like? Even though I apparently also already have all of these. And they're definitely not better than what I have. But I will take the Haste Mastery one. Galuk is a coward. He refuses to engage us directly until he is sure of success. We do not have the resources to attack his base, but if we cannot go to him, maybe we can entangle him in our own territory. I am confident we can prepare a trap here for Gallic and his forces. My plan is not without risks, and controlling the playing field will be our key advantage. The question remains, how do we lure them here? 
Okay. Okay. Oh, bullshit. I'm not even going very far. Literally was gonna walk around the corner, but also... What? Oh, what stable mean? master. Um... Okay, it's, 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 it's a little bit more than around the corner. It's around a couple corners, but, you know. Sarah is struggling. Um, and it's causing a problem. We need water. All right. Okay. Well, if we line the eye with traps... And then lure him. I've sounded the horn for additional allies. I'm not sure how many will come to our aid in this t in time. The dream is under siege on all fronts. What do you think about Marithra's plan? Already sounded the horn to bring our plight here. On your command, Marithra, I will have them descend on the Jaradin. We will prevail together. Why am I awake? Mm-hmm. Marithra is right. Our enemy has shown they can breach our most well-defended strongholds. I mean, the fact that Ysera is not connecting properly is a problem us. as well. It is time to be proactive, not reactive. Welcome. Mm -hmm. Please. All the suffering that has been endured here, we must act. Okay. I will busy myself. Conceiving strategies for your Ithars and Somnifus. I believe that's okay. where I am most Oh, now I have to talk to you, Sarah. All right, all right, all right. Cool. I have seen your dream. Uh, she knows what needs to be done, but she doesn't want to ask me because I'm her mother. She should know that I'll always make the sacrifice. Wait, so, like, what even is the plan here? I mean, just luring him here? I mean, all right. No longer need my counsel, daughter. Do you need my counsel? It's You're correct. It's place. time to act. It is time to act. We need a way to lure Geloth here, and I can think of only one. It is risky. I can dispel the shield over the eye. That will bring our enemy yeah. to Yeah, okay. Take and shield down. We can execute your plan. You don't really know that that's Ysera making a sacrifice, but all right. Let us begin! A trap is many-layered. Plant these seeds around town. Our gardeners have already prepared the soil. These plants will be effective tools to poisoning our enemy. Handle them carefully, for some may sprout sooner than later. Also, Kia Featherpaw, our Umber Claw Keeper, has an idea to mobilize the very strong creatures. Go speak with her. Finally, meet with Somnicus to give everyone the signal that battle is imminent. <sighs> like, that's... I mean... I might end up upgrading those, cause like, yeah, I don't know, we'll see. <laughs> Aaron, go finish your preparations. Dum da da dum dum dum. All right, let's go. Let's get things done. I see somebody else's noxious seedling. <laughs> I mean, I feel like this is a problem, you know, you're, you're wasting it, maybe? I don't know, whatever, it's fine. Frickin' podlings. Okay, uh, what's this? Oh, more books that I will probably forget to read forever. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Esme, welcome back. I'm just, I'm just gonna click, pick up a bunch of books that I'm not gonna read. At least not at the moment. <laughs> it's fine. Don't worry about it. Um, there are more. Curious pine shrooms. Oh, hey, look, a flight path. 
that I'm gonna go get before I talk to this person because there's a marker for this and not for that and I will forget that I want to do it. I will never use that flight path, but it's pointless to not take it, so whatever, it's fine. It's a completion thing. Makes me feel better about myself. <laughs> Okay, um, I was making you hide your lunch, chicken quesadilla, and watch the Charmed remake. I kind of forgot that there was a Charmed remake. I don't, is it good? <laughs> That's the question. Uh, Maritha says you have a plan to help defeat the Jardin. Cast an illusion that they are just baby cubs. When the Jardin come, they will appear as easy prey. Then to motivate the Umbercaw to fight the Jardin, Jardin, just say dinner time. All right, sweet. Damn good, darker than the original series. Fascinating. I am intrigued. You have my attention, and I should actually bother to look for it at some point. Hello, Keeper Adronis. Wait, what? In the dream, memories can live on in unusual ways. Memories are not always linear, and memories that are not of your own, your not of your own, can become yours. Perhaps you were drawn to this place by the presence of the once dreamer, or perhaps you were drawn to this place because of my great friend. Come, won't you see? Rest here and let the magic of the dream watch over you. Wash over you. Okay. Uh, 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 okay. I was just gonna do slash sleep, but all right. Oh, well, that, that didn't work. <laughs> I'm not on that. Uh, it's Netflix, at least in the U.S. That does not mean that it's on Netflix in Canada, but I, I'll have to check. Uh, Lee, uh, I say I'm a completionist, but you don't see the all the things add-on. Do you want to know why I don't have all the things? Because that thing destroys RAM. That add-on is insane. <laughs> I briefly had all the things and I, well, and honestly, like, I just don't have the brain space to actually be a completionist in WoW anymore, but I tried for a long time. So, nah. -ha. Okay, so you Sarah and Alex Drazig, uh, but this is a dream. Okay, cool. Greg has sent word for Ysera to come and see him. We arrived and found him in a dire condition. Our efforts to heal him so far have proved fruitless, but now that you are here, you can assist. Gracchus is of the dream. Perhaps infusing his roots with something grown here will be the final thing we need to restore him. Roots. Root restoration fruit. Wow, that's awfully specific. I mean, I don't have a VPN. I should have one. Um, and you're right. I could watch it on US Netflix then. But I'm sure that it's not that bad. It did not, it did not get better. His time has come. Twenty eighteen too, that's not even recent. <laughs> um Okay. Whatever. I'll look it up at some point. It's not I'm I'm sure that it's available somewhere. Maybe not somewhere that I have, but whatever. And I should just get a VPN to be honest. So Elaine, you remember in BFA with add ons including alcohol al alcoholic and all the things. Uh, Boralis took four minutes to load in on your computer about 10 seconds right after a patch with no add-ons loaded. Yeah, exactly. Like, I I, I think it was BF... No, it might have been Legion. At one point, I, I found someone's forum post about, like, low uh, resource consumption versions of a whole bunch of add-ons, which is why I have bigwigs instead of DBM and stuff like that, and details instead of SCADA, because both dbm and scada take up way more resources or at least did at the time um and and yeah like i i the loading screens with all the things were just brutal and i couldn't handle it so i uninstalled it <laughs> like it's it's useful but there's a reason it's called all the things and it's too much <laughs> it's too many things uh alex Straus, i was so certain we could help Sarah seems to be sensing something here that I cannot. After all she has been through, it seems her magic has indeed changed beyond rec my recognition. Okay, so this isn't like a dream? What is this? What is this happening? 
uh, Lee, you never really notice the load times. I mean, I, maybe your computer runs it just fine. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, for me, it was a problem. To be fair, I haven't tried it on my current computer. It was my previous computer, which was much older, uh, that I was having issues with. But again, that was also a few years ago. So I, I don't know. But yeah, <laughs> there, I have had it. And there is a reason that I don't have it anymore. <laughs> and yes, that's made too much monkey business. Uh, admittedly, I do not know what to do next. If he is to rest here, flowers would be lovely. The pollings in this area have been hiding among the flowers. Retrieve seeds from them, champion, and I will make them bloom. I think Gracchus will like the flowers. It is a wonderful start, sister. Just wish there was more that could be done. It is as I feared. It is Gracchus' time. Healing him would never have worked. The world beyond already calls to him. Although he has such peace, those that will care for him will still grieve. He will still be dearly missed. Not everyone is granted a chance to say goodbye. We must ensure that in this case they are. Together, Inform his loved ones. Okay, I've gotten a little bit sidetracked here. <laughs> Uh, in terms of doing these quests instead of uh, the campaign ones, but that's okay. An old man will not sleep without seeing me first. Aw. Stupid podlings. Why do I have to kill you to get the seeds for me, you little shit? Stupid podlings. I mean, everything in World of Warcraft is kill this, hit that, but you know. Uh, Lee, that's what you get for spending all your money on PC parts every year or so. I mean, yeah, that if you if you are regularly upgrading components of your computer, I definitely could see how that would make it so that you don't have to deal with as many memory and loading time issues and such. Which I mean, I respect that. If you could afford it, go fucking wild. I like I would if I could. <laughs> so <laughs> I I respect that. That it, and if it lets you run all the things without trouble, uh, also good. <laughs> I certainly can't say the same, but I get it, so. And yeah, like, honestly, maybe they've made it better now. I have no idea. It's possible. But yeah, I kind of forgot that it existed, because I tried it when it first became a thing, and then, and then it very rapidly got to be a problem, so... <laughs> Admiral Peppers! The duck looks at you expectantly as though she knows you bring solemn news. Ah, so this is what made you so anxious, Admiral. Yep. I don't know why I told that to the duck if they were both gonna go, but alright. Uh, Lee, you only really got it for transmog stuff. I mean, that is that is completely fair. I also, yeah, transmog good. I hydrated and with water, Esme. There you go. Thank you. Um, and yeah, it's an easy way to keep track of d stuff in Dungeons and Raids. Absolutely. Like, yeah. It's super duper useful. It's just a matter of actually, you know, using it. <laughs> Is there anyone over here? There's two people over here. Uh... I remember you, although we have yet to meet, right? Like, so we did like the the resting thing, and so I guess this is this is other people's memories, but but yeah, I don't know. It's fascinating that the setup for this quest, but yeah. I haven't known Gracchus for long, but he's taught me so much of so much in this little amount of time. Two more. I like how he's only got like six friends, apparently. <laughs> Ronnie. I think I remember Ronnie from BFA. I might be wrong, but I'm pretty sure I do. Um, cause yeah, Druid in Dazar Lore. Uh, I came here once as a child, not on purpose. It was terrifying to have dreamed myself into another world. It started me on the path of becoming a Druid, so it is good to be back in better spirits. Cool. Aww. Aww. Cute and or sad. Hey, oh hey Spruce Crown, how's it going? <laughs> not, not doing a super bloom right now, huh buddy? His time has come then. It sure has. To Ardenweald, my friend. 
Uh, you cannot multi-class in WoW, no. Uh, which honestly is good, because it would get real fucking messy if you could. <laughs> you used to kind of be able to multi-spec, um, because each class, or each, yeah, each class, for the most part, each class has three specs, um, and you used to be able to pick things from different talent trees, but that was kind of a long time ago. Um, and yeah, Lee, it would be ridiculous. It would, it, yeah, there would, it, there would, there's already too much to keep track of with like three plus and sometimes less specs per, per class and blah, blah, blah. There's a lot going on in WoW. So yeah, I, I don't know how the hell they would balance it. If it weren't an MMO, I could see it working, but it is, right? So, yeah. Uh, encouraging new growth on an occasion such as this feels right. You bet, buddy. There's a sense of peace in this place. Gracchus summoned me here for a reason. He knew. As one life ends, so too will a life begin. We must remind those that love Gracchus of this, Rosaka. Plant seeds around Gracchus. My sister can handle the rest. This place will not only represent an end, but also a beginning of new life. Oh, I'm going to make him a circle of flowers, and then Ysera will grow them. Aww. Aww. Sad quacks. <laughs> Sad quacks. Oh, man. Oh, yes, Gracchus? Ah, young Razaka. My life comes to its end. Do not feel sorry. Do not fret. I am ready. What ails you? Uh. Okay. Yep. Um. One battle still haunts me. We were victorious, but I cannot shake the terror of that day. A nightmare? Perhaps you ha still have fears that need closure, my friend. Okay, well, they're like little nasty nightmares just ran off in all directions, so. Wait, what is the sprout of rebirth? It's, okay, it's rep. Uh, these dark memories cannot be allowed to fester in the dream. Unleashing them was necessary. Gracchus needed to let go. But if they linger, they may become malevolent. Defeat the memory that haunts him most so that Gracchus may some can slumber at last. Together we shall okay. Prevail. Find and defeat them. Away. Away we go. <laughs> Quack. Uh, little Nasty night Nightmare sounds like a good horror anthology movie. I mean, there is an entire series of games called... Well, I mean, it's, 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 I think it's just two. Um, but Little Nightmares is an actual thing. So. But na li Little Nasty n Nightmares is a bit different. So, yeah. I don't know that I actually have to... Yeah, I don't think I actually have to kill all the little ones. Yeah, I don't think I do. But that's okay. Why not kill a bunch of the little bastards, too? Feed in the dark, huh? This is Xavius or just like a random satyr. Uh, Lee, you finally got a blade of Azanoth yesterday running Black Temple. Only took like five years. Yeah, I I have never gotten those. <laughs> I, there are so many things that I have never gotten uh, that are rare drops like that. Like, just so many. An Anzu is my white whale, but, you know. <laughs> oh, he died while I was gone? Oh, that's sad. <laughs> Uh, thank you. He will, Gracchus will be at peace now, as will those who cared for him, it seems. It is not often people get a second chance to say goodbye. The cycle must be oh, well, that was nice. That was nice. Uh, so, so the world is Azeroth. Azanoth is a different thing. <laughs> Uh, Azanoth, I, I guess, is a demon, technically? Um, but yeah, the Blades of Azanoth are, are legendary rare drops in a super old raid. Um, but yeah, they're, yeah. <laughs> and I mean, an Azeroth is arguably a derivative of Azathoth, which is HP Lovecraft shit, so... Yeah. 
you you it's okay if you're behind on wow lore wow lore is more than 20 years of lore so don't worry about it also hello gaming with silvertail welcome on in here i i don't think we have met before but thank you very much for the raid it is it is nice to see you and i'm going to actually try to remember here to do a shout out and hope that i spell it right so i don't fuck it up <laughs> um yay it worked and you are in fact playing world of warcraft how is your stream it is it is good to Okay, okay, it's not marking you as a first-time viewer, so maybe that's just me. Do I just have a shitty memory? <laughs> Regardless, hi, thank you for the raid. I appreciate it. <laughs> and how was your raid? How you? Er, how was your stream? How are you doing? <laughs> uh, okay, you followed in 2022, but it was fun doing some Mythic Plus. Okay, all right. I'm, yeah, am I... <sighs> Am I am I being a jerk by accident? I can't remember. I can't tell. I'm I'm terrible. I'm terrible with with lots of things that involve memory, but also just lots of things in general. So <laughs> no, okay. Well, that's good to hear. <laughs> uh, but either way, regardless, thank you. I appreciate it. Um, I might be either doing Phasmo, Monster Hunter, or Forewarned. I. I don't know if I've ever actually played any of those on stream, <laughs> but I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm a variety streamer and I've done lots of things. So I, I would believe that it was something other than wow, for sure. Especially if it was last year. Um, thank you for helping us prepare the trap. I have great confidence in Marissa's plan. I have rallied the eyes guards and denizens upon your word. We will move into position. Uh, you don't know either. Yeah. I mean, whatever. It, if you forget also, that's okay. That makes me feel a little better about myself. <laughs> So you gotta do stream aftercare by all means. Please, please go get yourself some food and some water and hang out. And yeah, I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you very much for the raid. Um, Esme, I have not played Raft. I have done a little bit of watching other people play Raft. Uh, certainly not the whole thing. I know that there is like some story to it. I don't know if Raft is the kind of thing that I would have fun doing on my own. Um, I know that it it absolutely does support multiplayer and everything, um, but I do I kind of feel like I would have to do multiplayer to to enjoy it. So I don't know. We'll see. I I haven't had a chance to play it with other people either. So now we are ready we are as ready as we can be our guard is in place and our trap ripe to spring the emerald preserver's magic is linked to ysera's upon your signal they will simultaneously drop the magical defense this is what galak has been waiting for his forces will swoop in like carrion birds we await your word i mean it makes sense because like theoretically they're struggling to keep it up anyway so galak will assume that it uh fell on its own without us intentionally letting it down right so I don't know why, like, I mean, I guess we know why she can't attune fully, but it's really fucking problematic, because, like, the shield should be stronger, and I don't, like, would someone other than Ysera do it better, or is it just her? I don't know. Whatever. We're ready! They are here. Oh, and I actually pick up the quest before I go leaping into the fight. Gallic is here. All is going according to plan, then. We will put an end to him and any of his lieutenants. Use the traps you have laid to our advantage, Razaka. Defeat every monster that dares threaten us. Okay. Get wrecked! I'm gonna get him! Okay. Um... I don't, how do we use, how do we use any of the traps? How do I use traps? I don't know how to use the traps. I mean, is it, and also, oh, that's right. There was the, the, the owl bears. There was also the owl bears. Aside from the seeds, that was it, I think. So yeah. Okay. Direct. Just casually walking around as if this isn't a war zone. Whatever. Oh, come on. I interrupted that. That's bullshit. I actually might have. I'm not 100% sure that I did. It just didn't show that I did. Two embers and ash, huh? 
Get him, noxious seedlings. Get him. I don't know if that's actually doing anything, but whatever. <laughs> I don't know where all the little bears are. The little bears. Aha, yes. Hey, little umber claw, claw, totally a cub. Dinner time! <laughs> Get him! <laughs> just attacking the tiny little lava guy, too. <laughs> Alright, whatever. Things are going great. You do get percentage just for for uh, activating these, so that's good. Oh, I keep getting goosebumps and it's making the tattoo like itchy and ouch, which is not ideal. <laughs> uh, Elite, you have the legendary from Ice Crown Citadel quests left and also you need to get Thunder Fury still. You've been trying forever. Yeah, I certainly don't have Thunder Fury, um, and I don't have, uh, Shadowmorn either. I, I'm like, I think I'm like halfway through the quest. I'm not exactly sure how, how many steps the quest has. I'm on the one, the really obnoxious step where you have to deal with Blood Queen Lanifel in a certain way that I don't remember what the deal is right now. Um, but yeah, I, I do need to get that one. But that was on my Draenei, so my other main from back in the day. Um, so, yeah. And I don't think you can transmog legendaries still at this point, right? So, I don't know. I still want to get it, but it definitely doesn't feel like it makes sense to uh, start it over on this character. Uh, but yeah, there's definitely... Definitely some uh, help required for a lot of those things, so. I mean, obviously not the ones that are just dropped, but yeah. I have never gotten the, uh, the staff from Kata or whatever that was. There's a lot. There's a lot I'm missing, legendaries-wise. Uh, you've probably run Molten Core a billion times and haven't gotten a single binding for Thunder Fury. That is annoying. I sympathize, because that's frustrating. Um, okay, let's fuck him up! Uh, sorry, that was loud. <laughs> Esme, what's the most unusual race slash class combo for WoW? Hmm. That is difficult. I'm not exactly sure what the stats are right now uh, at this point in time, but I do have a female dwarf warlock, and uh, she is exceedingly rare um, in terms of, of race class combos. Torrid Rogue. I, but I feel like there's a lot of Torrid Rogues that that's an actual thing. <laughs> Maybe not a lot. But I feel like there's a certain amount of people that do it just for the irony, you know? Uh, <laughs> I really like Marithus. Tree horns. We almost have them. Push the advantage. We have secured the land beneath our feet. Now for the skies. Gallic flies from us, but he is weakened. The time to strike is now. Okay. Um, okay. I can get on this random nameless green dragon. Um. Oh! Oh, I... I okay, I could... I didn't realize that I could have done it. Uh, on... On my own dragon. That might have been fun. Okay, I noticed that this was marked accessibility, so now I'm like, can I just... Can I summon my own and do it on my own? Because I think that might be more fun. I don't want to wait to get all the way to the ground. They are some big ass wings. Uh, it just looks like an usual, like it shouldn't work. I mean, yeah. You can also just run into them with your dragon. Oh, okay, running into them. Yeah, I wasn't I wasn't sure what like the deal was. <laughs> yeah. Just 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 murder them by splatting them like fucking bugs apparently. That's really funny that that's the way you deal with it. <laughs> 
I don't know what I expected. I kind of expected it to give me a, a, an extra button, I guess. But yeah, uh, I guess I'll take it. <laughs> thunk, thunk, thwack. All right, uh, where are you at, Marithra girl? What would you ask of me? <laughs> he is weak and cornered. Let's finish this. Oh, a volume. Beasts, to the eye. Who's a okay. Obey your master? I thought he was calling Stand us cowards. Down, we have won. Or you could just kill him. Not while I yet live. We will suffer your evil no longer. Get him, Marithra. The turreted will be your doom. We are constant as the beacons. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Shut up, dude. All right, sweet. Da 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 da. All right, volume back down. It is done. I almost cannot believe this worked. I am ever grateful for everyone's trust and faith. We could not have won this battle without the help of our allies and the flight. But the fight is far from over. Based on the intel we have gathered, Farak and his minions are preparing an even greater assault. Their base is sand strong and terrifyingly close to the Dream's Hope, Bastion of Amirdrasil. Uh, to the Dream's Hope, Bastion of Amirdrasil. Wow, that's a, that's a, the hell of a title. Uh, the Eye might have only might have only been a distraction. We will regroup at Amir Drasil with the rest of our allies. Indeed. Okay, Garethos. Whatever you say, man. Yeah, like, that's, that's, that's Laura Bailey. It just is. And I'm sorry, but Laura Bailey is kind of Jaina to me. <laughs> it's weird. <laughs> Okay. The eye is all that there is. I cannot use power. Like I believe the eye will recognize because of my fault. But I am not It wasn't my fault, it was your rise. Interesting. Like I I am super duper extremely on board. We will be waiting once you have with Ysera coming back and being traded for Malfurion, because fuck Malfurion, who cares? Um, going back to sleep for a cause is is exactly what he should be doing. Also, what are you doing out here, Frack? Just chilling. Um, uh, but yeah, like, I but also like they keep taking everything away from Ysera, so I'm like, what what's the what's the point? At this point, right? <laughs> Savage in terms of my opinion about Malfurion. You know what? He earned it. He deserves it. What has Malfurion ever done that wasn't, that was like worth anything uh, <laughs> and didn't cause problems later? Uh, Bang was, it's weird hearing her in Midnight Suns because she just does her jester from Critical Role Voice <laughs> magic. Yeah, that's fair. Like, and Laura's in so, so many things, and she's fantastic in all of them, and it's not the first time I've recognized her voice. It's just weird hearing her be another major character in WoW, considering she just feels like Jaina to me, right? So, it's not like it's a bad thing at all. She's still a fantastic voice actor. It doesn't take anything away from it or anything like that. It's just... Strange. <laughs> okay, apparently we can't do that. Um, where are all of the flowers? I hate these quests. They're quick, but I don't like them. Okay, apparently I can't use that one, so fine. Where am I supposed to fucking go from here then? Whatever, I guess. Leave me alone. Whatever. Apparently the fireball still hit me. Which I think is 
nonsense, but fine. Can I can I grab the fucking flower, please? There we go. I hate these quests. They suck. Uh, <laughs> like, it's fine. They're fine, I guess. But they're very annoying. And I don't like them. And this one is taking long enough that I'm gonna have to do it again. Um, well, I guess maybe not. Wait, where the fuck am I going? <sighs> All right, up a different way, I guess, and hopefully this works. Nope. I guess this is, ugh, this is so stupid. This is worse than most of them. This is hella obnoxious. <laughs> super, super stupid. There we go. All right. Uh, Esme, you can never get into watching Critical Role. You definitely want to see the Taldore campaign set uh, book for the D&D 5th edition. Yeah, I never got into Critical Role either, and it's not any sort of reflection on Critical Role. It's just that I just don't have time for it. <laughs> Like, it's, I, I wasn't on the train from the start, and now there's just so much content that I can't even approach it. It's, yeah, I don't know. I'm glad for them. Looks like it's tons of fun, but whatever. Uh, <laughs> what, what am I doing? Okay, I see. Bubble, bubble, bubble. Bubbles. Bubbles for little babies. Little fuzz babies. Um. Pego says, yeah. Uh, Esme, you've got the time. You just can't be bothered. I mean, that is also completely valid. If you're just not interested, that's fine. <laughs> like, there are a lot of things that I'm, I'm like that with. So, yep. Certainly can't hold that against anyone. Um. But yeah, like, I'm sure it's great. I just, yeah. I don't have the time to invest, and I don't care that much. I don't feel like I'm missing out on something that is, like, a huge problem to miss out on. So, didn't realize I had absolutely zero vigor, so that's a bummer. I guess I'll just run around on the ground then. <laughs> Where are more babies to bubble? I need to bubble two more buddies. Oh, somebody's killing the world boss. Which I did yesterday, so I don't really care because I can't get shit out of killing it. Um. Hello? H hello? Aha! Get him. There you go. One more. I'm assuming we can both do this, because otherwise the other one would have disappeared. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I feel like a lot of the times, uh, oh, fuck, uh, voice actors are, are, good enough at like getting into their character or doing different voices or whatever that I just kind of miss when it's people that I know um or even just like I'm absorbed enough into the character right but like Laura Bailey I've just heard her so much that she's just so distinct at this point and I kind of feel like she I do feel like her Marithra voice is very similar to her Jaina voice, and that is not a critique. It's just a fact, <laughs> so it stands out to me. Uh, Bangos, you fell off mid-campaign, too, because you got behind a few episodes, and then it was 20 hours to catch up. Like, right, exactly. I just, I, I can't. I can't imagine. That's too much. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh, I missed a super bloom again. Rip. Uh, yeah, but... Is it gonna? 
Sense a change on the wind, like the dawning rays of the sun, like petals before they unfurl. A great swelling energy right at the heart of the emerald dream. The bloom, it has begun. Witness a mirror to still begin to bloom. Tell me. Pretty. And yes, no one puts baby in the bubble. <laughs> in a bubble. The bloom begins. Amir Drasil draws power from the wellspring. It is weakening the barrier. Farak will break through before the bloom is complete. We have not the strength to face Farak alone. And our allies are unable to enter the dream. Something blocks their path. Mm. We cannot wait for reinforcements. Farak must be stopped. No matter the cost. Okay. I don't know what I expected. I expected more, I guess, but also, what's with the fuzzies? Can I, is, can I actually see anything? Is anything actually different? Amir Drasil is now at its most vulnerable. Whether it shall bloom within Azeroth as a beacon of hope, or if it shall become a harbinger of doom, its fate is ours to protect, and protect it we must. Amir Drasil draws power from the Wellspring Temple in preparation for its bloom. The barrier protecting the temple will not last much longer under Farak's assault. I have sent messengers all across Azeroth asking for reinforcements, but none have yet arrived. Something blocks their path into the dream. For now, we must rely on the forces we have. I ask you to travel to the Verdant Pass. If there is anyone I would have by my side, it is you. I mean, okay, I was- I- really thought that that was going to be the last little chunk um the end of the campaign but we've still got a little left apparently what may seem impossible you must try if the rock reaches the heart of Amir Drasil, all of Azeroth shall burn like okay the voice is a little bit different than Jaina a little bit <laughs> not that different though and I, I mean, again, that's not a critique. Laura Bailey is still an extremely good voice actor. <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> it's just recognizable. Um, see, like, I can't tell. I know that the tree is supposed to change a little, but I don't... I don't know. Um, maybe... Like, I think you only see it after the raid, so I probably wouldn't see it yet. But also, I don't know why the whole fucking thing is... Okay, blooming. That's what the the vignette is, I guess. But yeah. You know. Hey, Farak, what's up, bro? Sure has. We want him as far from the temple as possible. We are thankful for your, your arrival, Razaka. Our forces have assembled, but the odds are against us. We will only be able to hold on for so long without reinforcements. Let us hope we can draw Farak's attention until the bloom is complete. Treasure the gift you have been given. The primalists have erected great flame wards throughout their encampment, yet we know not why. I have asked our ground forces to investigate, but they are blocked at every turn. Two fire elementals in particular stand against us, empowered by Farak's shadow flame. We must clear the area of enemies. I have imbued this scale with my magic. Use it to weaken the elementals and any others who stands in your way. Caldera, Cal Cal Calderamore, Ignarion, and 15 wildfire enemies. Fun! Fun names. We may be outnumbered, but this is my domain, and I have a way of evening our odds. Take this pouch of seeds, plant them throughout the wildfire canyon, and the dream's fairy dragons will transform them into treants. With luck, they will draw attention from our front lines and bolster our ground forces. Did we? Did we? Did we? Okay, it's it's the Verdant Pass, but they've renamed it Wildfire Pass. I mean, all right. Burns for retribution. Farak will stop at nothing to kill you himself. We need you here, Life Binder. There will likely be heavy casualties. Mm hmm Are you gonna stay in Hillfield, or are you gonna go? Yeah, not not go fight for rack yourself just yet. Okay, Alex. Yeah, round him up. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, get wrecked. Well, that was successful. I mean, alright. I guess I'll just keep hanging out with this druid, because why not? Haha! -ha! Ice, ice, baby! Anyway, um. Plant the thing here, though. Okay. I have used the thingy. Franco says Larian just announced the BG3 physical edition, and you kind of want it. Ew. I. I guess I didn't realize that there wasn't a physical release at this point, but I guess they're kind of technically an indie, so that maybe isn't that surprising. I just hadn't thought of it at all. Uh, interesting. Is there like like what's exciting? What what's what's new? Tell tell me more. <laughs> okay, that's nice and all, but. Haha! <laughs> and nuked twice in a row, boyo! Um. I need more piles of dirt. Hey, look, dirt! I need, I need one more after this. And there's a thing that I can't loot. Which always bothers me just a tiny bit, but I also don't want to be a herbalist, so... My immortality! Ugh, fuck off. I am, like, so aggressively annoyed by the Druids of the Flame, their whole fucking thing being to be obsessed with immortality and deciding that the flame is the way to do that, even though there's a goddamn world tree brewing and, you know, it's technically possible that Nazdorma will actually bless this one. I kind of doubt it, but it's possible. And instead, you're being a bunch of greedy little self-absorbed shits. Also, nobody actually needs to be immortal. N it's not a requirement. Eat farts. You, you self-absorbed dicks. <laughs> okay, Shandir, would you like to chill the fuck out? <laughs> the fiery birds, real mad. I mean, for Ashendir, the prophet of the flames must be the one behind it all. Uh huh. Now it has a world map poster, world map poster, thirty-two stickers, two patches, and the soundtrack. Oh wow, that that's actually not bad. Also, patches. Okay, now I need to know what the patches look like, but whatever. I'll that can be a later thing. But that's fascinating. <laughs> Uh, I did not expect the Prophet of the Flame to join the fray himself. We may have less time than I thought. Oh, and the blooming thing went away, so I don't know where that leaves us. I mean, I'm glad my screen's back to normal, but what does that mean? Um. I'm glad my skill was of use to you. Though I cannot take it to the f take to the field, I can at least empower you to fight on my behalf. I will tell our ground forces to begin their investigations. We must find out why those flame wards are being empowered. Oh, right. I'm not gonna end up using those, but sure. Uh, Bankless, you think it's basically the same price as the Digital Deluxe Edition? I mean, that's not bad. I, I probably won't be buying it, but it's still cool. <laughs> Might be one of those things where I can get, like, just the patches from somebody who doesn't want them on eBay or something. Uh, it's only a matter of time before Frax forces decimate our own, and then there will be nothing stopping him from entering the Wellspring Temple. If the Prophet of the Flame is responsible for blocking our reinforcements from entering the dream, there must be some record of, or communication of his plan. We just have to find it. Search for any communications amongst Farrax forces at Skyphone, Sky, Skystone Falls. If we can disrupt their efforts in some way, we might have a chance to turn the tide. Uh, 
Ferrex's forces at Skystone Falls are already threatening to overwhelm us. I fear not even the combined might of the Sentinels and Ancients can hold out against them. The Ancients are bearing the brunt of the offensive. We have reports of Jaradin attempting to capture them for some unknown purpose. We cannot allow Igira to succeed in whatever nefarious plan she has in mind. You must seek out the Ancients on the battlefield and free any who are captured. Cool, cool, cool. We must <laughs> I will seek out the culprit. Yeah, Kegar. Oh no, Narlru. Not last much longer. Narlru. So I free him and then he gets captured again anyway. That's a disappointment. <laughs> like that's that's a real fucking bummer. I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> oh, the itch. The itch is real. Nobody ever get tattoos, it's itchy. It's not it's not a real it's not a real opinion, but it is itchy. <laughs> might be might be time to do do a little a little soothing wash after stream. Okay, so there's a chance to get the scraps of parchment from them and we're assisting trees. Yeah, rip gnarl root. Yeah. Yeah, poor buddy. And yeah, I mean, I guess that's the entirety of the uh, the experiments is them trying to turn them to the flame and all. But like, we already kind of know. How is, did somebody else kill those? Cause I didn't. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, but yeah, I, I feel like it's already well established that, uh, that you can convert denizens of the dream to either nightmare or flame, but I don't know, whatever. Maybe they don't actually know how, and so yeah. Calling themselves tree smashers seems real, real shitty. <laughs> I mean, it's like, it's like literally what they are, I guess, but like, gross, man. Shame on you. <laughs> okay, there's a rogue. <laughs> That's fucking things up, I guess. Which makes sense, I did see the sap thing earlier, so. Be free, Elder Branch. Away, oh, a pine tree pile. I want to. I want the pine tree pile. Higher still. Pine tree pile. What is this? Okay, cool. Uh, that's a nice solid rep boost on that one. Do I have any other rep items yet? I mean, I know I've been using them as we go now that I have the anniversary buff, but interesting. But you know, toys, pets, mants, all good. All good. Oh, it, it is up there. I'm a dum dum. Oh. Well, I didn't mean to steal your work, but thanks for doing all the work, I guess. <laughs> hey, Shade Bow, how's it going? Let's let's get you out of here. I don't know how I've only gotten one scrap of parchment so far. Uh-oh. 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 Uh no, Shade Bow, buddy. <laughs> You were free! Oh, friend. Alright, let's surround up some of these bastards. Alright. Uh, Lee, you hate.
hate my bag space. Uh, everyone hates my bag space, uh, and honestly, they should. I also hate my bag space. My, I am a cluttered fucking nightmare of a digital hoarder. It's a problem, and I don't know how to solve it, but that is an extremely fair and valid opinion, and I respect it. Because <laughs> it's, it's bad. It's real bad. You're, you're right. It's terrible. <laughs> Uh, I'm not proud of it. It is, it is not great. It is not, it is not awesome. <laughs> Ooh, that's a very cool bear form. And apparently I'm not doing anything. Uh, yeah. But yeah, I, I'm, I'm, uh, yeah. I, I, if I, like, to be fair, it is also, like, part of the reason it's so aggressively bad right now is that it's a new patch, and, like, it wasn't this bad before the patch, <laughs> but also, it wasn't great before the patch, so that only, uh, redeems me so much. You know what, you know what I fucking hate? Is when people help me by by taking my killing blows which would be fine except for the fact that i need those to heal myself Ugh, whatever <laughs> like i have to get last hit for it to work to give me impending victory back so yeah i don't know man sucks But it's okay, because I'm not dead either, so it's, it's fine. Healing is overrated. I mean, sometimes. D d depends. Depends on how bad things are. <laughs> and yeah, like, this, killing this thing isn't going to give me any papers. Fuck off. But I guess I'm doing it anyway. Fun. Fun. I mean, honestly, it's a very cool design, but also fighting the mammoths is always annoying. Sorry, the Meg Mammoths, which is a fun, clever name. I will, I will admit to that. <laughs> yeah, you get over here. Oh, he stunned them because because he ran off. Give you a challenge. Okay, would you like to die today? That's fine. I can, I can provide. One of those dudes is like, I want to go out fighting. A strange place to die. I mean, sure. Sh sure. I guess. <laughs> okay, one more. I just need one more scrap of parchment. Can we not make this take forever? Ugh, should I do the Emerald Frenzy? Maybe. Ugh. Uh, oh, come on! Eat my shorts. Get there half a second too late. Fucking hell. Whatever. Um, you know what? No, I don't care. I just want to finish this quest. At least we're going to finish the quest before I go deal with that. Um, Dango's question, are my talents the starting build talent? They are not. Uh, they, so I... Basically, I took, uh, I, I think, I can't remember if it was Unbridled Ferocity or Anger Management. Uh, I have Anger Management, so it might be that. Um, but I took one of my raid builds and I fucked with it, basically. Um, so it, it is extremely not optimal, that's for sure. Uh, but, but like, yeah, I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to make something functional that I'll actually use. I am a little worried that I'm, like, wrecking the synergy of passives and stuff the way that I've done it, but, like, whatever. Uh, we'll, we'll see how it goes. But until they give me a decent build that doesn't include Bastion, uh, Spear of Bastion and Ravager, then I'm doing this, because I never use either of those, and it's a huge waste, and I don't want to deal with it. Uh... And I'm also just leaving damage on the table because I'm not actually remembering to use them and I hate having to click to place them. So, whatever. Uh, Esme, you're still hungry so you grabbed yourself an apple. It's a little soft but still decent. That's good. I, I have a real beef 
with soft apples for some reason. Like, I don't know. I, it's, I, I'm not good with textures sometimes. Like, even grapes, a lot of the time there's literally nothing wrong with them when they're soft, but I just, I just don't, I just don't like soft grapes. <laughs> I, don't, I won't eat soft grapes. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> Uh, Lee, you don't use Spear of Passion or Ravager. I mean, g yeah, me neither. <laughs> I don't like them. Like, there's nothing wrong with them. Ravager is a fun concept, but I fucking hate, uh, clicking to place it. And so, yeah, it's just, it's a, it's a waste of a talent. It's leaving damage on the table if I have the talent, because I just don't use it. Um, so, Yeah. Crunchy grapes or go home. Yes, Esme. Crunchy grapes or go home. Those are the only options. <laughs> I mean, like, that's not completely true. If they're really tasty, I'll still eat soft grapes. But, like, I just, I can't, I struggle. Oh, oh, no. Oh, no. This is a lot of corpses that were not here last time I was here. This sucks. Damn. <laughs> Your aid has helped the ancients stand against the Jardin, but for how long? How many more will be lost before this battle is done? So much sacrifice for this war. So many fallen. Too many. Uh-huh. Yeah, Farak's kind of a bitch. Uh, <laughs> and he's basically just doing this because he's an edgelord that wants to make everybody angry. Um, and or wants power. Or is a tombstone emoji when you need it, right? Well, but see, that's what we have. That's what we have corpse Alex for. Uh, <laughs> um, but we can, I, I, one of these days we're going to have to get something like that because it, it just, it, it comes up too often that we need something like a tombstone emoji. If Farak enters the Wellspring Temple, it will not just be, a, be just a mere distill that will burn. All of Azeroth will burn with it. Let us hope some knowledge can be gained from the communications you collected. She pours over the notes you handed her. Her expression slowly changes from grim to hopeful. You might have just saved us all, Rizaka. The notes you found, combined with Marithra's reconnaissance, has revealed that uh, has have revealed a Shendir's plan. The flame wars that surround the Wellspring Temple are blocking our reinforcements. Our allies will distract Farak while you and I slip behind enemy lines to destroy the wards. The skies are filled with drakes, and I must fend them off. Once you find a flame ward and thin out its defenses, signal signal me to destroy it. Okay. We will destroy the flame wards Oop. while Baranoth holds Farak's attention. Signal our allies once the walls are down. Okay. This is our only chance. Ow. Owie. Tattoo sore. Much ouch. Don't know how much of it is because I'm slouching. <laughs> I'm a little bad for the slouchies. I'm gonna be honest. I'll admit it. Everyone else. Farag's the best villain we've had in a long time. Me. Yep, that dragon's just a sicko. Just a classic sicko. Have Are people really saying he's the best villain we've had in a long time? Like, I feel like he's pretty standard villain. Like, I, like I'm not saying that in, like, a negative way, necessarily. I think he's, like, scary-ish. Or at least, you know, like... You want to you want to punch him directly in the face. You you want to kill him, all that you know. But I don't know that he's like, oh wow, what a unique and compelling storyline. <laughs> uh, is this or is it just this area that is too flush with dragons? I mean, to be fair, the entire expansion is called Dragonflight, um, and basically the whole thing is about dragons. Uh, but there is an active dragon battle going on, so it's been the sentiment for a minute. I mean, that's weird. That's weird. I haven't heard that, but I'm also not, like, in tune. <laughs> but, like, he's fine as a villain. I don't think he's a bad villain. I, I think he's a fun villain. But, yeah, he's... You're right. He's a pretty generic sicko. He's just an asshole <laughs> that, that wants to see the world burn because... He got shit on at some point. So. My sister betrayed me and my brother abandoned me because I was just an angry jerk this entire time and everyone was just taking advantage of that. Uh, me, me dragon angry, burn down world. That's, that's pretty much his whole thing. Um, but yeah, a dragon expansion has kind of been, uh, needed slash coming for a long time. 
Um, and I think that it's it's paid off pretty well. But yep, yeah, lots and lots of dragons. So many dragons. Chosen of the prophet, huh? Yeah, all right. I like how fire fairies is the the flame version of fairy fire, basically. <laughs> like, all right, sure. <laughs> I could probably have gotten away with kill it, not killing this, but, you know. I do not feel like being rooted by you right now, buddy. Uh, Esme, you have a lot of issues with family and ex-friends, but you have no desire to see the world burn. Uh, you still have some hope that we, humanity, can be unified in love. I mean, yeah, like... It's a big ask. <laughs> but also, yeah, I, I don't think that saying things have gone bad for me so fuck everybody else is a particularly productive or healthy way to look at anything so i'm kind of like hey for quit being a little bitch maybe <laughs> uh which sure reductive yeah but like <laughs> and i mean also like it's it's the same thing with the druids of the flame i'm like are you are you fucking serious your entire reason for burning down everything you're supposed to care about is, oh, daddy took my immortality away and I want to live forever. It's not fair. We used to be so much better and look down on everyone else and now we can't do that anymore because we only live seven times as long as them instead of forever. Shut up. And also, seven times as long is an understatement. <laughs> Immortality is overrated, but these friggin' babies don't think so. Well done, champion. Now we must die. I mean, probably shouldn't have stood still over the battlefield, Alex. It seems your reign is finished. Alex Terraza. Well, that's uh, a little you bit early to be saying that. An idea, Farak. Now, you merely seek power. Yep. <laughs> yes. And you are in my way. A Mirdrasil will never be yours. Your obsession will destroy you. <laughs> this is your end. Alex Raza. He's just cocky. The Dragon Queen dies alone. I am not alone. Stands united against even like literally even the fucking infinite dragon. <laughs> it is time to end this. You will all fight together. Defenders of the dream. Do not let him escape. Hey, y'all remember Avengers Endgame? Yeah, Beckless. You are correct. Shall not fall. See, see, now it's even weirder because Jada is also here, but I mean, maybe we won't ha hear her talk in the same space as Marithra because that would be weird. <laughs> um, also, hey, look, a flight path. Um, but yeah, like, uh, fuck off with Thrall being the first thing that I see. I know that Metzen's back now. Can we stop d fucking doing the circle jerk i'm i'm really over it i i've been over it since before he left the first time uh <laughs> no uh farak may have retreated but he still aims to destroy the barrier protecting the wellspring temple we must break through the enemy's ranks and stop him is there if 
It is there that we will put an end to his machinations once and for all. Once again, the mortal races have come together to defend a world tree. It is only fitting then that we bolster their efforts with a relic from the, the, that past battle, the Horn of Cenarius. I entrust the horn to you, Razaka. Use it to bestow the blessings of Cenarius to our allies. With luck, it will allow us to break through Farak's forces and open a path to the temple. And do not forget to lend your strength as well. Every enemy felled is one fewer between us and Farak. I mean, at this point, Thrall is the face of the Horde. I mean, yeah, but whose fucking fault is that? Blizzards. They made that choice, and I'm over it. <laughs> I, I'm, I've been a Horde player for, like, five years now. I'm allowed to have an opinion at this point. For a long time, everyone was like, yeah, but you're Alliance. Well, shut up. <laughs> I hate Thrall. <laughs> I, I, at one point, I merely disliked Thrall. It has gone much beyond that before, or at this point. And a lot of that is because I am extremely not into the hero worship of Chris Madsen. I, I'm really, really over that. I don't like it. I don't... Hero worshipping anyone in the games industry is, is a dangerous, dangerous thing to do. Um, and I, I, I don't think that he's a shitty person necessarily, but I do not think he deserves the hero worship either. I cannot stand everyone who's like, Chris Metzen is World of Warcraft. No, hundreds and thousands of people work on this game. Don't you, like, fuck that. He doesn't get to take all the credit for that. I don't even know if he would want to himself. Like, I hate it. I hate it so much. <laughs> Uh, cause you shouldn't be Horde anymore. I, well, yeah, okay. Uh, I realize that you're teasing, Leet, but, like, could have said that about everyone who was mad about Sylvanas, if you want to put it that way. <laughs> Tell us how you really feel. <laughs> yes. Look. No god, no medicines. Pretty much. Pretty much that. I love how you guys are roasting me for this opinion, but still... <laughs> I just, I just don't like it. I, I hate when one person gets credit for the work of thousands of people. It, it's gross and wrong. <laughs> I realize that he was the ideas guy for a lot of it, but, like, I don't care. Because it's not like he came up with every single good idea that WoW's ever had. And, in fact, we are absolutely positive that he is responsible for many terrible ideas as well. So, no. No hero worship for me. <laughs> Uh, the dragon flights have arrived. Sorry, I'm gonna just completely switch back into the fucking quest text. Uh, the skies are ours to reclaim, and you shall help us tip the scales. Mount your drake and target the enemies above. You need only swoop in and take their forces by surprise. Your drake shall handle the rest. Alright. Yeah, literally just fucking crash into them. Alright, let's go! Okay, yeah, that's, that's the option. You are a dreamer, little one. Aww. Take your mother before you. I mean, quite, quite literally a dreamer, also. Uh, let's go get some drakes! Let's get them! Wreck! <laughs> I, I do like to imagine that my dragon is just, like, chomping them. But it is, it is even more entertaining if it's just, like, directly crashing into them and that's what knocks them down, because that's very funny. Okay, it doesn't work if they're not in the air, which makes sense, but also. <laughs> Smack! Okay, I did not get the vigor. I thought that I was going to, but I didn't. Uh <laughs> Just like this thwack noise, too. It's very good. <laughs> Okay, again, not not the named ones. Named ones don't count. All right. Smackity smack, smack, smackity smack. Get smacked, bitches. <laughs> this is so silly. <laughs> all right, all right. Time to get some vigor. Back up to hit more proto drinks. Hey, there we go. Here, hey, 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 Scenarius, would you... <laughs> I appreciate the inclusion, even if it is my own boon. I really, I really like that they, that they have, like, an actual voice line. <laughs> uh, 
to if you do that. Oh good, it's Calico's. Oh goody. Um yeah. I I should probably not have pulled the the big elite dragon. I do think that that was probably a regrettable choice, but whatever, it's fine. Uh, thank Rosia, you don't get the Mets and Hype as someone who has no nostalgia for old Warcraft. Exactly. And, like, part of it, I'm sure, is that I started in Cataclysm, which not only was not, like, the old school Warcraft, but, uh, also Thrall is fucking annoying in, uh, in Cataclysm. He just is. He's a whiny little asshole that makes it everybody else's problem. I, like, I, I get, like, I'm not saying that about Mets and I'm saying that about Thrall, but, like, it's annoying. <laughs> Very annoying. Um, so yeah. And I also miss Lily today, Esme. I, I'm sad that she never showed up. Uh, I, I don't know why. Well, I mean, I do. She's just asleep. Uh, but yeah, it's a bummer. Okay. Um, I feel like I'd rather empower more people than just fight more dudes. But like, yeah. Hey, Maya, Maya, I don't, I never know how to pronounce her name. Oh, and Chandris. Hey, how's it going? Um, did that, okay, it didn't work. Stand with the Alliance, we fight for the Horde. The Drakir shall safeguard all of Azeroth. All right, sure. Ooh. Oh, good. Oh, goody. My inventory's full. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, here we go. Uh, our dadgar and his dirtbag boyfriend fighting together. <laughs> I... I can't... Uh, who's his boyfriend again? I, I know we literally just had this conversation. Um... Really? Speak of the devil! Ooh. Could you... <laughs> uh, since I started in Cata, am I gonna play Cata Classic? I mean, no. <laughs> I could, but like... I don't know. I, I, I have some nostalgia for it, but I don't know about that much. Oh, okay, it is Kaelic. Yeah, no, Cadgar and Kaelic dating is disgusting. Uh, not... Not on Cadgar's part, but Kalik is just garbage. I hate Kalik so much. I hate, I hate, I hate him. Bitchy little butterfly is is pretty much the whole thing. But yes, uh, Lily apparently heard you, Esme. I mean, more likely she heard me yelling her name. But <laughs> hi, are you gonna have a bath back there? What's up? What's up? Yeah. Okay. I'm here for the last 10 minutes of stream or whatever. Kisses for Lily. Here you go, kisses. Here we go. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I thought that's what, what it was, but I couldn't fully remember. So yeah, but I guess we, we could try and find Cadgar on the field and see if... Ugh, fuck. <laughs> see if he's back. I was trying to do stuff in game, but I forgot that I still had uh, OBS tabbed into you. Right. Hey. Yeah. She uh, definitely tried to walk in front of the cam or the screen uh, several times last night during raid, which was v very annoying. Uh, uh, so that's probably Jaina with the ice, but maybe maybe not. Okay, well that's Toronto. Who? Um, Oh, it is Jaina in there. Yeah, okay. Uh-huh. Anyway. Uh... Uh, there's Chen. And Misha. And Bane. Hey, Cadgar, Where are you at, friend? Uh, oh. Fun. Fun that we have the centaurs. Where is Cat 
Edgar. There he is. He does not appear to be with his dirtbag boyfriend. Um, and and dirtbag is correct. <laughs> uh, thank you for for sheeping the the berserkers for me though, bud. Uh, as, as much as you would love to have a black cat, Lily is making you partial to a white cat. I mean, I also love black kitties and have had many in my life that were delightful and my life was richer for having them in it, but also Lily is a good baby too. And yes, a fairly high percentage of white cats are deaf, uh, Elaine. If they, if they don't have blue eyes, they probably can hear. Uh, like Lily doesn't have the blue eyes and and I think I've said this on stream before uh, but the vet told me so when she was a baby you could see just this like tiny little cluster of like three hairs that were black on the top of her head <laughs> uh, and to be fair her daddy was also all white and uh, didn't have blue eyes and did appear to not be deaf um, but uh, but yeah the vet told me that that little whatever genetics came with that tiny little tuft of black hair is probably why she's not deaf <laughs> yeah yeah are you a fuzzy dough ball she's a little chunky and i put them on like diet food recently and she's still exactly as chunky as she was before she was eating it so <laughs> whatever i guess hi yeah chunky baby but yes, Lily is a good girl. Um, and I mean, there is also nothing wrong with having a deaf cat. It's just that uh, they have a tendency to yell uh, because they don't know how loud they're being. <laughs> hey, Turnus, good to see you. I don't know how to get up there without my... Okay, I'm, I'm out of range of the fight. We're fine. Um, but yes, Kalik does not appear to be there, which is good. Um, also, uh, Kagar is still my Draenei's boyfriend, period. That head cannon is never going anywhere. He put a ring on it. They're 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 married. <laughs> uh, this is just a fact. Kagar belongs to Roselka. <laughs> do, 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 do. Excellent. Rex forces are reeling from our assault. Let us dragons handle the rest, Rosaka. This is our dream, and I will not suffer these invaders any longer. Our allies fight with the blessing of Cenarius. It is only a matter of time until Farax forces break their ranks and flee before us. I don't know what I expected. Hey, look, a dickhead. A Mirdrasil will fall to flame! <laughs> Screams powerfully, I feel like that. Oh boy. Oh shit! That's a big fucker. How did he summon that? Uh, and yes, Elaine, on the other hand, most deaf cats aren't scared of the vacuum. This is a very good point. <laughs> uh, we have finally broken through the enemy's ranks, yet the Prophet of the Flame now bars our path, and he has unleashed his full power. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, this is just straight up him. Also, what's with the weird fire fire eyeball? Whatever. The prophet must be defeated if we have any hope of making our way to the temple. I ask you to face him, champion, so we shall, hol we shall hold back his forces as you do so. The end is in sight. Let us finally finish this war. The center of Barak's forces are faltering. Only the prophet stands in our way. Let's go! Or we could not, because this fucking guy just killed him. We shall cover your advance from the sky, champion. Well, that feels anticlimactic. <laughs> I mean, we still gotta go kill him, but we gotta wait for him to fucking respawn now. God damn it. <laughs> oh, man. Hamel, Stelagosa, Lillian, Jaina, there's fucking Kalik, Chandris. Rekatork! Hey, how's it going, buddy? Everybody here. Including, again, the dickhead. Moira, we love Moira. Terralian's kind of a turd. Rakan. And I I think that that was Thrall. I don't know. Anyway, there's Kagar also. Um, you know what? I'm gonna eat it. 
I'm gonna eat this and hope that I don't die. Yeah, no, we're fine. <laughs> Pankless, you do like that when you saw Gen, you were uh, literally like, oh, this fucker. Yeah, no, for real. Gen's an asshole. <laughs> Uh, Gen decided he was so much better than Sylvanas, but he never earned that. He is also a war criminal and ho or giant sack of turds. Uh, <laughs> this is the fact. <laughs> he's kind of cool, at least in his design and stuff, but he's kind of a dick, and he was trying really hard to convince Anduin to also be a dick for quite some time there. So, yeah. Not that he succeeded, but... You're losing, buddy! You are all useless! Move aside! These worms dare to challenge me! I like how, like... My will shall be like, ten years ruin. ago in the campaign quest, they, his, the druids of the flame were like, Can't you just deal with this? And he was like, This is below me! If he had just not been a dick about it first, uh, we, we would have gotten completely screwed way before this. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Lily's like, what the fuck? Uh, again, known war crimes enjoyer and enabler, right? Right? What a dick. <laughs> And hey, look at that timing. It's the end of streamish and also the end of the campaign. Farek has broken through the barrier. He must have become desperate once he saw our forces closing in to use that much shadow flame all at once and burn a bunch of his own friends because they're not really his friends. Because he's a dick. Um, a dream of fields and fire. Farak may have entered the temple, but our fight has not ended. Thanks to your efforts, we have broken through the, his forces. There is still time to stop him. You must gather your allies and follow Farak into the Wellspring Temple. We will cover your flank. Know that it is not only a Mirdrasil that you protect this day, Razaka. All of Azeroth will burn if Farak claims the World Tree. You must be stopped, here and now. This is our final stand. Ooh. Ooh, goody. Okay, well, it's okay. I, I, okay, so I wasn't sure. I, I, I guess it was this that that we could do in like progress. Um. So yeah, but I, I was worried about the fact that I didn't pick up that quest before a raid yesterday. But we didn't end up killing Farak anyway, so I guess it is not a huge deal. So, yeah, as <laughs> you're looking at cat adoption right now, I understand. I I want a third cat because I want a lap cat cuddler again, but I can't guarantee getting one of those. Um, and so it would be really wild to get a third cat and then have them not be snuggly. <laughs> and also, two is plenty. Uh, so, yeah. I don't need another cat, but I do still want one. <laughs> oh, right. I mean, okay, I guess we might as well do a fucking super bloom since we flew over it. <laughs> why not? We don't have anywhere to be today. Okay, why am I flying around? That was really annoying. I think was that quest is for a head enchant. Oh, okay, interesting. Um, and I could have started it right away, except that I, that like I got that item in the mail, but like I also know for a fact that I looted gnarl root last night so i don't really know why i didn't get that until today but it's okay we will obviously be running the raid again so i will have time to do it also i suspect getting 50 of the echo ephemera is going to take some time so i mean maybe not but we'll see i i kind of doubt that it's a one run thing it might be but i doubt it I don't really want to do this, to be honest, but, like, it's right here. So, I guess I'm gonna. <laughs> and, yeah, like, uh, some of this I could upgrade to being better than certain gear I have, but also, it's not as good, so. Uh, it seems like a multiple-week thing, yeah. 
Uh, Esme, if you ever have the money you want to open a cat preserve and call it Cat Henge, I respect that. With 666 cats, yes. Hey, look, it's Dream, dream Fruits. I don't want to do spiders. Uh huh. All right, sure. Why not? Um. <clears throat> uh, Elaine, your plan is that when slash if you get the house organized in a few months, you're gonna talk to a shelter about fostering kittens for a while, then maybe adopt in a year or so. I respect that. That sounds like a good idea. I. I think fostering can be really rough. <laughs> And there's a big part of me that wants to do it, but I also know that when you're fostering kittens, at least, it's it's different and in other ways, in, difficult in other ways, if you're fostering adults. Uh, you're not ready to give a cat your heart as a forever home, but you miss having kitty cuddles too. Yeah, no, I, I, I get that. <laughs> and uh, I, it does take time. It was, I, I got Pabu fairly, well, not really. It was like six months after I lost Max. Um, which is still fairly soon to some measures, I suppose. But yeah, it's it's tough to figure out when you're ready. And and yeah, it's hard. But uh, the anyway, the issue with fostering kittens is that a lot of them die. Uh, which is an extremely depressing truth, uh, to be honest. But uh, that is something that you have to accept when you're rescuing or fostering kittens, and that's difficult. So, thank you for the lurk, Obi. Um, but yeah, it, it, it is an extremely good and or noble thing to do, and you do get lots of adorable kitten cuddles and playing and all sorts of wonderful things, but you do also lose kittens. And I, I'm not sure if I could handle it or not, to be honest. Um. No, I beat you. Ha ha. <laughs> Not that it matters. Um. But yeah. So I I don't know. I've never I've never been able to decide whether or not I wanted to do something like fostering, but I haven't really been in a position to do it either. So. I mean, I don't really have a space to do it. And obviously they need their own space, so, yeah. But I do have an immense amount of respect for people who foster. I mean, any pets, of course, but, you know, kittens would be my thing, because kittens. Because babies. Well, cats, anyway. <laughs> I, I like dogs, they're great, uh, and I don't necessarily want them in my house all the time. <laughs> Looks like Blizz just broke proximity detection for Big Wigs, DBM, and Wee Chorus? Uh-oh. How'd they pull that off? That seems problematic. <laughs> and also, like, was that- okay, like, the question is, is that intentional? And if so, why? Uh, but also, Blizzard ex kind of leans on boss mods to, to do a lot of the work for them of, like, communicating how things work. And also letting them make more complicated encounters, so I can't imagine it was on purpose. Every dog see your above post being cats are best pets. Yeah. Yeah, I have nothing against dogs. They're just, I'm just not necessarily a dog person. <laughs> um, at least in terms of owning them. I will absolutely hang out with and cuddle and enjoy my friend's dogs, but I probably won't get my own. And a lot of that is an energy thing, and a big part of that is them needing to go outside to walk and poop and whatever. And I don't have any interest in walking a dog in fucking January in Manitoba. So, mm-hmm. <laughs> I'll pass, actually. So, yep. <laughs> All right, we are almost done this frickin' super blue. All right. Probably still another five minutes to go, but, or well, I don't know. Ish. Don't know how long it takes to actually kill the, the lady. I 
suppose I probably should check out what the starter talent build is, because that might be a better starting point than what I've done, but I think I'm relatively happy with where things are at right now, but yeah, I don't know. Like, I, I'm not going to get into simming things on my own. That sounds annoying, and I don't want to, but I also haven't enjoyed any of the default or of the talent builds from like Wowhead or Icy Veins since the first patch. Like there was a set that I liked at the time. And I don't think that I still have it because you're fairly limited in how many you can have. And I don't know, I don't know. Uh, but hamsters are fun too. Yes, I, I have enjoyed having a hamster in the house. Uh, yeah, she, Potato isn't my hamster technically, but I, I enjoy having her around. Uh, yesterday, <laughs> speaking of hamsters, um, I will absolutely check out your tweet, uh, once stream is over, Elaine, just because there's not a ton of point in checking it when I'm gonna end stream after this bloom anyway. Um, but, yeah, anyway, uh, roommate lured Potato out from behind her tank with yesterday by, like, waving a peanut, uh, in the shell and having her come pick it up. So she uh, got scooped up from behind there while she had this peanut in her mouth. So there's just a, a fucking entire peanut shell sticking out of her mouth. And uh, she, she couldn't figure out what to do with it. She's like, I don't know where I want to go and was just like walking around in circles uh, being confused. So I put her down on the bed and Pabu was there. Um, just watching her because that's that's kind of what the cats do is all they do is just stare at her uh, <laughs> and uh it was it was so funny because Pabu was just like intently watching kind of spinning around to watch her as she runs around in circles and whatever with this fucking peanut in her mouth and then, and then she she started running towards him he was like a little worried and all of a sudden you just see him just go <laughs> because she <laughs> She, she was running at him and she hit him directly in the nose with the peanut. She just walked up and like bashed him in the nose with a peanut and it was very funny. <laughs> uh, so uh, 10 out of 10 potato with a peanut. Excellent work, uh, fuzz child. Uh, so yeah, potato is a delight and I have no regrets about having her around. <laughs> But yeah, it, it was very funny because Pabu, like, he ended up literally running away from her. Uh, like, jumping off the bed to get away from her because she started coming at him again after that and he was like, don't hit me! <laughs> it was very funny. So, uh, Pabu, uh, like, he's never near her without me, like, having a hand on him or near him because I don't want to give him space to do anything bad even though I think he's mostly just curious. Um... So, I don't know how he would have reacted without me doing that, but yeah, he, he mostly is afraid of the hamster more than anything, and also, she has- she does not give a fuck. She is not at all scared of the cats. Like, she doesn't even acknowledge that they exist. Like, I'll hold her up to them, uh, so that they can sniff her, and- and she just, like, literally doesn't acknowledge their presence. She doesn't even sniff them back. She's just like, okay, how do I get out of this? Yeah, I want to. I want to get down. I want to escape. I want to go have fun. <laughs> it's also he is also sweater curious. He and I like. I realize he goes after my cardigans because they're the one thing that I like take off during the day and then forget to to put away before I go to bed or whatever. And then he'll eat them overnight. But like. What do you have against me owning a cardigan, sir? It's very annoying. <laughs> uh, anyway, yeah, pa Pabu is a, a twerp and also possibly afraid of the hamster, which is very funny. Um, so yeah, there, there's that. Um, yeah, I have way too much shit in my bags. I'm going to need to fix that. Uh. You know, I I should probably go check out the customizations for the the Netherwing Drake sometime because I I haven't. Um, that is not what I wanted to do. I wanted to get on my yak, even though there's a yak right there. I I'm just gonna sell all of this because none of this is like as good of gear as I'm going to get doing other things. So. 
Oh, I have too much crap, you guys. I have way too much crap. I need to sell and or get rid of so much crap. So much crap! Yeah. So much crap. I suppose I could sell my auto hammers. There's, there's just like a bunch of things. Things that, uh... I should put in my bank as well. And I have to mail some stuff to alts and yeah. It's a lot. Uh, you're laughing so hard you're crying. Well, that's good. <laughs> uh, I don't know if like the video of Pabu being afraid and, and or getting nailed in the face with a peanut. Uh, I don't know how, how easy that would be to share. But if I can get it from roommate later, then I will. Uh, and post it. Because yeah, I, I, it was very funny. <laughs> just whack and him <laughs> so uh, oh and yeah the other day uh, it was kind of the same situation where he was just sitting nearby watching and uh, she was running around on the bed and uh, he also ended up startled and running away from her because like, potato does not give a fuck she does not ex acknowledge that they exist and uh, she she basically just saw him she saw his legs and was like, oh my goodness, a fun little tunnel to squeeze myself through. And she ran between his legs and crashed into his belly. <laughs> like, I don't know, man. They're, pets are idiots and I love them. <laughs> and I didn't even get that. That's disappointing. Um, I mean, you... You, you could just do what I do with other streamers that I don't necessarily have time or the schedule overlap to watch, even if I like them, is I just stay followed and then never actually watch their streams. Uh, but I'm, I am glad that you feel at home here, Esme. That is the, exactly what I want to, to do for people is kind of foster that sort of feeling in the community. Uh, you guys all banding together to help Pramby do dungeons a couple weeks ago was delightful and I love you all for it. Um, yeah. You guys are great and I love having you and I'm glad that you guys enjoy being here too. So, yes. Um, I, f I, uh, I have nothing left to do in the Emerald Dream for a, at least a few days now and I don't know how to feel about that. It feels weird to be like done-ish. Also, did I, did I actually check my posture there back close? I felt like I did, but I don't know. <laughs> Ah, uh, okay. I'm not turning that in because I can't, I can't take those right now. They'll get converted. So yeah. Uh, gotta wait until next week to turn that in. 180 is a really low limit considering the amount of things that I've been getting them from. So yikes. Anyway, we're going to have to do, I'm going to have to do some dungeons this weekend or something. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Regardless that that is where i'm gonna call it for today uh sage your timing though <laughs> no <laughs> oh man i'm sorry um ooh. do we wanna do we wanna go see jess playing more baldur's gate i don't know how is jess leveling up again that was what she was doing last time when i tabbed over there anyway whatever <laughs> <laughs> Your timing is amazing as always. I know. I know, Sage. Oh, D D Banquos, I can't turn in. Uh, it's the, it's a renown quest uh, that gives you 15 Drake's qu uh, crests. And so I could turn it in. I just would lose the crests. So there's no point. It would be silly to turn it in. Uh, thank you. Thank you for, for the praise for my tattoo, Sage. I also love it. It is fantastic. And Esme, I am glad that you feel more valid here and also that I am succeeding at being LGBT friendly because that is also one of my main goals. And I mean, a big part of that is also being a part of that community. <laughs> like, then again, I was going to say that kind of makes it like a no brainer, but there are some, some queer people who are not great to other queer people, which is insane to me, but it is a thing. So, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But yeah, Tattoo is also extremely itchy right now and a little bit sore in here. This this spot, for, like, I swear this, this spot didn't really hurt that much 
uh, when it was getting done, like, I feel like the, the cap of my shoulder was the worst part in terms of pain, but, like, healing-wise, it's, it's like the dragon's neck right here, which kind of makes sense, because it's also, like, sorry, I didn't mean to get super loud there, uh, it's, like, the densest part, or one of the densest parts of the design, there's just a lot of lines and stuff, uh, going around, so, you saw it on, uh, Blizzard Watch of all places, yeah, I mean, I, to be fair, I put, I put, pictures of the tattoo everywhere because every time I get a new tattoo I'm like everybody look at my tattoo uh, <laughs> so but yeah I, I got so many likes for my tattoo on blizzard watch uh oh Esme you didn't know that it was a dragon yeah yeah and that's why he needs a name and again I'm kind of like hoping that I can find something that feels a little more celestial because he he's holding a little moon you know and I mean, I guess I'm not necessarily uh, exactly 100% attached um, to, to it being a boy dragon, but that is the way that I've been leaning. Um, but yeah, so. Feels like a Percy right now. They're expensive, it's justified. This is true. Uh, I don't know if I want to tell you guys how much this, this tattoo cost, because it hurts. <laughs> I mean, I don't regret it, but it hurts. <laughs> And yeah, it's just a little sleepy. He's just a sleepy little guy. He's just having a having a little sleep on my on my collarbone. And yeah, it's yes. Look at him. Look at my baby. And and yeah, like I guess it's hard to see on camera. Uh, like, and this is all mirrored for me. Uh, like in here, some of the lines uh, are kind of gone. Um, and I, I think that's mostly because the second skin ripped off some scabs and I'm pissed about it. Um, but like from, from what I'm looking at, I've had so many name options too, and nothing has like clicked yet as me. So please don't be offended if I don't pick any of them. But, uh, <laughs> uh, but yeah, like, uh, from what I was reading about it, the way that the second skin worked for me uh, is not how it was like supposed to work. And for most people, it comes off a lot better. Um, but yeah, it just, it just didn't come off well. And, and it seems to have really irritated my skin and stuff. So I'm a little frustrated with it. Cause normally like all of my other tattoos, it's just been plastic wrap and, and like Vaseline. Right. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, I don't know. It's a bit frustrating, but if I need touch-ups, then I need touch-ups, right? So, it'll be fine. The touch-up rate is obviously significantly cheaper than the not touch-up rate. <laughs> so, yeah. Regardless, I love my little dude. Uh, I, I'm unhappy with the plastic wrapping, not with my, with, not with the dragon. <laughs> so, yeah. Um... There's actually a reasonable amount of people on right now. I guess, have I haven't, I've brought you guys to Jess before. I don't think I've brought you guys to Nacho before. And Nacho is playing Diablo instead of Baldur's Gate. Um, and there's nothing wrong with Baldur's Gate. We love Baldur's Gate in this house. But but I would like you guys to meet Nacho. Nacho is is one of the women in our, in our little WoW streamer group. Uh... Did it get its ancestral power back? Uh, I mean, yes. <laughs> sure. <laughs> He's a sleepy little guy, which, you know, honestly feels super appropriate for the whole Emerald Dream thing, too. So it, it's totally a wow tattoo. Absolutely. I definitely planned that. Didn't just occur to me right now. <laughs> Uh, but anyway, uh, Nacho is delightful. I think you guys will like her. Um, so let's go hi say hi to Nacho. I am terribly sorry that this is my only stream for the week, and I probably won't be able to stream on Sunday, and I'm mad about it. But hopefully we won't have any infestations of feral plumbers and or drywallers next week. Uh, so fingers crossed. Uh, I love you guys very much. Sorry about the timing, Sage. Uh, and yes, look at, look at n sleepy little Lily back there gonna go give her a cuddle and have and have some supper but yeah let's let's go say hi to nacho and i will i will see you guys next time love you and bye